was, uh, as we've seen throughout this year in most of our Yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, there you go. So ah. we should be fine now, Kamish. If you can send us a text message through, it's the um, cord just not sitting in the um, computer properly. Purely it. Yeah. Everything else has been checked. There you go. Ah, uh, you gotta love a Monday. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's the word we're going to use now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it appears to be that that one is all sorted. So apologies, lad. As we mentioned, both teams... Done. Sorted. Thanks, Kamish. All right. There you go. Both both teams, as we said, playing for a grand final spot on Friday night. And of course, we'll have that for you here on Chargers TV. Looking forward to it. Myself, Jacob, and we'll have a guest commentator in as the great man JB will be away. So we will certainly... Uh, we're certainly looking forward to Friday night. It's one of them been a quick six, or six and a bit weeks. That's for sure. Play continues on here. As Rhodes turned the corner, she goes off glass and gets that two to go. So lovely work there by Pia Rhodes. He gets Utahs uh, up to five currently at the moment. As we'll get that doing everything around here at the moment as jb has gone to take dinner. Now ball quickly up the floor. As Bartlett, now Rhodes here. Into Aaron. That's a nice play from Utah's. Really good ball movement. Great cut to hit the feeder. And that is that is what we have come to see from this Utah's team. James Murray, very structural in the way he coaches. And really great, great play on that on that forefront. Steinle down low, double teamed here somewhat. Then in the Harris, good pass in the broom ball. That is a pretty play from Swisher. One end is good, the other end is certainly matching it as well. Now Rhodes, so 10-7 our scoreline here. Swisher up by three. Aaron looking to go to work here. It's a double staggered screen there. She's looking to attack. Six on the shot. Kicks it out to Brown. Well, well deflected by Swain. Of course, her sister Neve was uh, playing uh, on the weekend up in the long system. So Brown, now Rhodes needs to fire a Hail Mary, just short on that one. And, well, Aaron, great heads up play there. Good recognition. Was able to recognise what was going on. And then Harris fouled. So Aaron at the line for two on a great heads up play there. And let's see if she can knock these two down. Well, no, we've put the moccas on already. Misses the first. Oh, I well, if, if, if anything, we had to put a commentator's curse and Ruby Aaron was the culprit. Another two, and here we go again. Well, uh, I'm sure we'll get the uh, complaint feedback from, from the players on the commentator's curse. Meanwhile, Steinle triple team galore. Drew a foul, she'll go to line for two. So good work by Carla Stone there, just finding a way and had to put something up in that situation. Of course, the... Kayla, uh, Kayla, of course, her husband Clint playing with the JJs, the, the captain of the team. Of course, JJ's got a win in New Zealand, which sets up um, a, some good momentum going into this Sunday's game against the um, Sydney Kings. A, it's a two o'clock tip-off, by the way, too, folks. If you're if you're around the place, down at My State Bank Arena, get on down. But of course, our attention here is that. Swisher up by five. Strassman not a uh, good bounce pass there by Rose, but Strassman couldn't finish it. Now Broomhall into Ferguson. That's a really good transition play there by Team Swisher, and the two goes down. So margin out to seven here. Swisher been in great form all, all season in, in this very short form of the roster. Kick out pass. Drew, well, drew everything out of there, and ball goes out of play. As JB gets the headset back on. I can formally join Ronnie. Of course, we're back from our technical difficulties. And for me, back from dinner as well. And yes. Yes, this one's starting just to blow out a little bit further here. Sort of how we suspected Swisher would try and control this game. Oh, absolutely. Ferguson. Putting to the floor now. She needs some options. Goes to Harris. Good touch pass into Steinel. Steinel. Beautiful move inside. Just too big, strong and good, Ronnie. It's simple as that. All of a sudden, this one's out to nine. 
And Ute has it back on their uh, heels. Absolutely. Some nice, nice little triangle passing there as well, too, in that phase as well, JB. As Rhodes puts it to the floor, bounce pass into Bartlett, was never there. And then ball quickly up the floor here. Broomhall and uh, Steinle combined. Steinle to get the scraps and the two. Just a lot going on there, Ronnie, for both. Uh, hey, there's see. a scoreboard as it's fun. Robin Rhodes will be the yeah. uh, victim. Curse there is. Yep. <laughs> Smacked out of the way. Bang. Just like that. Now of course, tonight, Ronnie, we see that um, Jazz Ashland out. Mm. She's a bit under the weather there, which is unfortunate. And of course, I've heard Chloe Broomhall um, is a little limited on her minute. We'll be looking for probably limited minutes tonight. Obviously, we saw a bit of a, a knee concern with her last week. Yes. Absolutely, and as I mentioned, Beck Rumley back from um, back from uh, uh, slight injury as well too. No yeah. referring stakes, so good to see her back. Foul on the play here. Rhodes will go to the line for two. Absolutely, never ideal to see any uh, players, coaches, referees, etc., out of the game. Wiggins heads in here for Stratzma. So Rhodes at the line here for two. Because Rhodes has had a bit of a breakout kind of year, showing great signs of improvement, and you can see why. And she's certainly... Particularly that jump shot. Yeah, the jump shot's come along really well for her. And, uh, just her overall game, she look, you know, she's, you know, she's been working hard. You can see that. You know, she's, you know, she, I think she's dropped a bit of weight there as well too, JB. You know, we're not being rude or anything like that. No, but, and it, it's, a, know, it's a matter it's, of fact too for players yeah. that when they've been injured, your conditioning's not there, Ronnie. No, so, that's right. You know, Pia's got back into great condition. Abs her absolutely. Her jump shot's falling, and she's really added to her game. That'll be yeah, a travel, travel there from, from Swain. But it is that it is just that fact of conditioning there. But Pia is always working hard. She's not only training with teams, but she's also doing a lot of individual workouts as well. And she's seeing the fruits of her labour pay off, that's for sure. That is absolutely for sure, JB. Ball cross-court into Wiggins down low. Wiggins, tough matchup on Broomhall. Now Bartlett open for three to top. Oh! Bartlett knocking that one from downtown. Yeah, nice shot there by Leah, following her shot as she normally does. Yeah, so back to a six-point ball game currently at the moment. Harris, kick-out pass was tended for Swain, but never met it. And substitution is Molly Green comes in, and Claudia Swain will come off. Yeah, Claude for a spell. Yes. Green in, and still a lot of this game to go, Ronnie. 12-18, I mean, the jump there certainly for Swisher, but... It's not over till the uh, final siren goes. Absolutely. That is for sure. Brown finally gets it on a delayed pass. Bartlett for back-to-back -back triples. Not there. Now Steiner with it here. Now Ferguson. Swisher looking to run, but I think Adrian Gusty has other ideas for the troops. As Harris, yep. Oh, stop it. <laughs> the two goes down. That, the second she caught that ball, you may as well have put it on the board, Ronnie. Absolutely. Isla, so, Isla Beattie looking to check in for you, yeah, Tess. Good to see as Erin is long in that three. Broomhall with another rebound. I'll, I'll be interested to see how many she's got by quarter time. There's Broomhall. Yeah. Green, oh, Harris nice at the find. Top and knocks it down. Just smart there and good read by Molly Green. Could have been selfish in taking the shot if she really wanted to, but got that extra pass into Harris at the foul line. Yeah. Uh, great, great play here as Bartlett. Wiggins. Good hands by Green. And good hands by Ferguson. Yeah, good good, good hands. save by Ferguson. Good hands by everyone. Is the, well, Ferguson deserves a basket on that, but it was right out of the points, and then Harris gets the scraps for a two. Yeah, nice recovery. And here's just that little momentum we talk about, Ronnie. Just as Utah's feel their building, it's just Swisher who are able to grab the game by the scruff. Absolutely. Right now they lead it by 12, as Erin needs to find an option. Rhodes provides it, goes up strong off glass. Can't get it to go, but she draws the foul nonetheless. And yeah, we'll go to line for two. Her seeing the advantage on the drive there, of course. Eliza Vanderkamp looking to come back in. She's had a, some foot complaints over the last couple of weeks. Yes. And no doubt limited minutes tonight. Good to see her. Yeah, and as Isla you, in again. Yeah, Isla, good to see Isla uh, playing and as well. getting minutes as well, Ronnie. We're not talking, you know, I'll no. just come in and get a minute here or there. Just genuine minutes as well. It's good for their development. Ah, absolutely. And that's what this competition has been, been all about, to provide that opportunity and to provide... Um, you know, these players that are on the fringe or borderline to really gain some exposure. And that's what this competition has proven as Rhodes doesn't get it to go. Now, can she make it up from the three? In oh, and out. Vanderkamp had a nice rebound and pass there too as Aaron takes a bump. 
Harris now off and running here. Needs to slow this one down as the troops now all come into play. Ferguson on the corner. Yes. Yeah, long two, toe on the line, but Ellie Ferguson, another one who's able to hit those jump shots. Absolutely. Beatty now onto it. Kicks this one out. Bartlett open. Yes. That's two from three early on here for Lawyer. Good cider. Yeah, it is. It, my word, it is. It's a good, it's a good eye in as far as her confidence is concerned with a shooting. As Harris needs, he loses the handle. Green, nice pass into Steinle. Steinle now needs help, but she'll go. Yep, kick out pass, foul on the play. Yeah, easy reach there as I've nearly ripped the headset off my own scone. So, ball will be on the baseline here as Harris will inbound. Steiner wanting it up high, but they'll go to uh, Ferguson instead. Broomhall, spin. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, find the pass. bucket. Good pass. Steiner, oh, and then Broomhall having to get the tip. They are a dangerous combination, Ronnie. They are, and I tell you what, if, 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 we get, if you can get Carla to stay around with the Chargers next season, boy, oh, boy, there might be a different, we might have a different women's team out there. Because the way they're playing, JB, at the moment, it's it's uh, this is good. The two teammates really working well together. Absolutely. You've just got to build a small chemistry there. And they, ironically, Ronnie, play very similar roles um, as far as bigs are concerned. But they just have that ability to run opposite sides of the floor as they do it. Absolutely. Last play, you'd think here. Term number one, 10 seconds remaining as Green. Steinle working away. Double The double team arrived once again. Steinle trying to fight for a couple. <laughs> oh, reposition, just uh, work yeah. it. And she gets it to go on the quarter oh, time. Mighty. And a great opening quarter by Team Swisher. Sees them up by 15. It's 31 to 16. Now, it says 31 to 16, Ronnie, but I actually think it's meant to be 30 16 because I'm pretty sure that was a long two in the corner there by Ferguson. Mm. So that's going to roll in here, but it's just death and taxes right now. Oh, absolutely. Steinle and Broomhall yep. all the way. Who we got here, this one? Shout out to the fellas on the stats as always. Yeah, they, they do a good job. What do you got, Ronnie? Oh, I've got... Who have I got here? Utaz. Yeah, Utaz. Oh, I've got Utaz. So, Leah Bartlett leading away with six points, and Imperial Rhodes with five, Abby Brown with three, and Ruby Aaron with two. I'm just going to look at the... Yeah, the field goal percentages right now are uh, yeah, five or 15 at the moment from the field. So, yeah, Utaz need to lift their um, shooting rate up. 14 and six here for Kayla Steindl to go right, with an assist. On, We've got four and four for Chloe Broomhall, who's continuing to put uh, points up. Nairi Harris has got a really nice game going as well. Four points, three rebounds, six assists, continuing to get it done there. Shout out to the boys on stats. Shout out yeah. to Jacob on the uh, headset. What do you got there, Ronnie? Uh, we had to bring in some noise-cancelling headphones, Joby. Some nice Sony ones. Understandable, um, yeah. Because of the um, sound. So, um, Jeez. Yeah, Paul, Paul, we're taking care of Jacob Good. as much as we can. Jacob, so. but Jacob would be able to back me up when you've got this headset on. It does a lot of work. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it does a lot of work. Muffled noise versus blaring sirens. And yes, thankfully, I uh, bless my own soul that I brought in my bless my uh, own soul. Yes. You can't <laughs> say that, <laughs> Beck Rumley. Good to see Beck with us here. Uh, yeah, but yeah, thankfully brought in the uh, headphones today. <laughs> And me meanwhile, as JB has bantered with the uh, whole oh, no, playing group. I actually thought the girls were clapping at the uh, footwork of Beck Rumley, but they're actually clapping the fact that Rose Michael has made it before the halftime cutoff of the iPad. She's here at quarter time. Ah, uh, yes, of course, yes. Rose working, though, to be fair. Yes. I was going to say, Taylor Roberts uh, was working today as well, too. She was on patrol at each Lands JB. There you go. Uh, yeah, fair to say, I just kept a straight face and kept walking past her as <laughs> Leah Bartlett. Gets the two to go. Yes. So you don't want to be on the wrong side of the law with Taylor Roberts. Yes, Ronnie. I'm sure that you were the last person she was worried about at Eastland shoplifting. Correct. Meanwhile... Did you pick <laughs> up those extra golf tees for me? Or <laughs> or? <laughs> I know. I need to go down to drum and golf there. Down to Cambridge for that <laughs> one. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> don't tell the people. Oh, Harris. Oh, Harris couldn't get that up and under to go. Genuinely optimistic on that one. Erin is off and running. Nisa, oh, she puts on the jets here as she goes to work. Up strong off glass. No good. Now, Broomhall again with another rebound. And now she needs to find an option. Does. Green provides that. Harris joins in the party and then he decided to bank it off glass. Probably got away with a walk there. A couple of it, steps. It did look like a travel, Joba. Yes. That is for sure. 
Of course, we've got bills to pay at our next time out as well, Ronnie. Yes, we do, yes. I'll get to that. Yes. Now, I did plug it, but I, I don't think I plugged it with the sound on. No, that's <laughs> <so>. <laughs> yes, well, Total Denture Care Clinics there, Andrew and Tristy Ferguson, doing their great work. We've uh, got them on board again for another round of sponsorship yeah, for the broadcast, no, Ronnie. Yeah, uh, fantastic to see as Steinle knocks that one Please. down. Please. Steinle just having a way with everyone here at the moment. Look, I don't know what the scout is, but the scout should not be. Let Kayla Steinle go to work on a low block. Absolutely, you need Sheesh. to you need to force her out, but then she can knock down that three. So she's. Um, I'd rather her passing than shooting. Yeah, Speaking of right, shooting, shooting. Abby Brown knocks down the three there. Nice work by by Abs there, and all of a sudden the game back to twelve points currently. Where we were, where we not were in the first quarter. Ferguson now. I don't know what you were saying, Ronnie, but I'll agree no, with you. No, <laughs> I got my words muddled there. Meanwhile, Brown gets that two to go. Back to 10 now. Yeah, officially 10 there. Two minutes gone. Here's second term. Tuning into the Tassie Summer Slam Summer League on Chargers TV. Thanks to Liv Eat and, of course, Total Denture Care Clinics for our broadcast. Yes, thank you to everyone. Oh, ah, needle threading. Ball. Couldn't get that to go. Seconds, though, were good. She's racking up the stats <coughs> once again. This is redonkulous. Yes, no, she, like I say, I'd love to see the rebound count at halftime, JB. That is for sure. Rhodes for three, yes. Yeah, and the scoring rate is up. Players have realised it's finals time, and the quality of this game, Ronnie, just gone up another level. Absolutely. You know when your te you know when your season's on the line, and you know when you need to step up, and Peter Rhodes certainly showing that at the moment. Oh, nice touch pass by Steinel to Green, but unfortunately picked off there by Ruby Aaron. Good defence, Broomhall. Oh, she's open again. Good pass, though. Brown for another three. Back on. Yeah, he says last touch by Bartlett. Substitutions there. Rose Michael will come in, give Ferguson a spell. And Swain will come in to give Green by name and nature in the hair department too, right? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, Molly. Must have been an end of school. Oh, no, I think Molly's had that for a little while. I there you go. Um, I am not sure. Yeah. Apologies, Molly. <laughs> there you go. It's, no, it's nice to see. Oh, ball. hand off. Oh, oh even better ball movement. That's, that's great work. That's, that's a pretty play there from Just Swisher. fundamental basketball. Absolutely. So, margin back to 11 now. As Utah's looked to really get a wriggle on here. Aaron putting it to the floor. Floater, short. And last touch by Kayla Steindl. Yeah, it's good rotation defence there. I can really give credit to Utah's for their ball movement, but... They're just getting sucked in on that drive. The defense is able to recover. They've got to find a spare screen where they can. Bartlett now. She puts it to the floor. Throw, throw out to uh, Aaron on the drive. That's a two. That's a far better look because the defense has to be accountable not only for Bartlett at the top, but Stratzman rolling in as a distraction. You can't force a spot out there and leave her alone. Absolutely. Harris, Steindl. Back to Harris. Bit of two man action happening there, but Harris missed everything. And ball will go back to you, Taz, here. 6.08 remaining. As so Nori Harris's young one is just hanging off the leg of Holly Nash. Meanwhile, ba uh, babysitting Judy down there, Jobo. Yes, meanwhile, the other is just sitting with Dad very quietly watching the fun. Absolutely. Of course, Dad would have been... Over the moon with the efforts on the weekend. Absolutely, he would have been. Great effort there. Good yes. work by Broomhall as well. Now, Harris, this time, just couldn't get that one to go. Back on on the play. Now Swain. Can confirm Harry Griffiths has picked up his shoes too. Yes. Good to see. As Steinle gets the two. Of course, Griffiths getting some social media attention today from lots of people. Which is, of course, as we say, Harry, the, uh, the, the local poster boy. Now, when Ronnie says that, ladies and gentlemen, it means Ronnie shared his post. That's right. And the three goes down there by Pia Rhodes from downtown. And yeah. back to eight now all of a sudden here. So good. this is good, good back and forth, but Swisher in good control of this ball game right now. Oh, Harris corner there, Swain getting inside. Absolutely, now Michael, Harris relocates that corner, yes. Nice stuff there, and, and James Murray will take a timeout. So margin at 10, 41-31, Tassie Summer Slam here. Summer League semi-finals of our women's competition. Ronnie, of course, a big shout-out to Live Eat. Healthy yes. eating the fast way, the right way. Get into Live Eat today. Absolutely. And, of mm. course, we do love paying bills. And we yes, love we thanking do. those who do pay the bills. So, of course, a big shout-out 
uh, to the semi-final broadcast sponsor for the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam Women's League Total Denture Care Clinics. Andrew, Tristy and the team love nothing more than to keep your smile shining. So see them today at one of their locations in Kingston, Sorrell or Newtown for all your denture care needs. And Ronnie, just as it feels like Swisher yes. are getting a run and just as it feels like Utahs are starting to make more of a break, Swisher just drag it back again. Yeah, they do. And again, as I mentioned, they've just got good control this game right now and they're just providing a lot of, a lot of questions and answers really back and forth to Utahs. So... Right now, it's, it's more the defensive end for, for Utah, so they really need, to cont- uh, really need to do a better job of them. And they're giving up 41 already. You know, you, Swisher looking to go 50-plus here by the end of half. So right now, it's just a matter of really step up that defensive intensity. The offensive output's been pretty good. So let's see what this last four minutes and 56 seconds brings. Now, speaking of, of Libby, uh, funny enough, I went down to Libby today, JB, to get myself a coffee, and it was um, absolutely fantastic, I could say. Great. So great to see, as you mentioned, Libby being on board as one of the major sponsors of the competition. But, yes, certainly dropped into uh, their uh, outlet down there at Eastland today. Got, got myself a nice coffee. Yeah, shout out to the crew as well for the... Um I did use my card. For the, uh, for the VIP cards there. Greatly yes. appreciate it. And yes. We'll got, my, got my 20% discount or whatever it was, Joe B. So, um, yes, no, massive thank you to the team there. Brown, inside, touch pass, Bartlett. Now, Aaron from deep couldn't get that to go. Now, Michael off and running here. Yeah, well, he loses control, but able to regain. Steinle now with it. Now, back out to Michael. So get good offensive phase here by Swisher's Steindl. Oh, oh, that's a great pass. Jeez. Harris finishes off on the glass. They're just running at a, they're at a different level right now. And Chuk Deng just having a smile at oh, that he, one he too. Lo- he loves it too. He knows it. Meanwhile, Sensational. <laughs> meanwhile, Aaron from deep. Good. And then Strauss was trying to pull that one in. Unfortunately, couldn't. And ball goes out of play. Substitutions here is Elias Vandekamp. Yeah, Van- Back into the ball game. Vandekamp. I know she is on around that three, four minutes a quarter, Ronnie. So we'll see how she goes. Of course, some of these girls as well already in pre-season for NBL 1 next, se- next year. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, we're back. Dare I say more, but we will continue on. Michael, Michael, uh, Michaels, Rose Michael, sorry, into Swain there as I, apologies folks, as we get our words muddled. Meanwhile, Aaron off and running. Now Brown into Rose, Rose likes to match up against Swain and that's a good option there. Yeah, that's really nice from Pia and it's not something we see very often when Pia goes inside, but when she feels that she's got that matchup advantage, she really tries to make the most of it. So Swain, cross court here to Broomhall. Broomhall exploring the three. Can't get that to go. Good rebound by Erin. Erin trying to get through a couple here. And then Brown should run onto that. Good touch pass. Interior passing, not too bad here by Utaz. And now Erin to finish it off. Yes. Yeah, good ball movement there, Utaz. They're just getting the needle moving. Margin at eight. Uh, seven. Oh, hello, we've had a scoreboard adjustment uh, again. 43-36 in the, in the venue, Jabba. Okay, we'll go with that again. Never seems like we're wrong, but here we go. As Ro, uh, sorry, Rose Michael knocks that one down from downtown. 4-3. Margin back to 10. 10. So Vandercamp. Now Brown to join in. No, not on that occasion. Good work by Aaron. Good hands by Michael. And then well, good desperation, good hustle by Rose Michael. Yeah, so really good on the defensive end. Now Swain. And you just sense for Swisher here, slow it down a little bit. You've got momentum and things are just falling your way no matter how you try and execute them. Absolutely. Now Rose Michael for a back-to-back. No. And Bartlett with the ca- most casual rebound you'll see. So Aaron. Rhodes on the handoff. Bandicamp down low. One-on-one with Swain once again. And then Bandicamp draws the foul. That, and, that, and that's what we've seen Eliza Bandicamp do when she gets down low, JB. Just work work hard, find herself in a good position, and then able to make draw that contact for the foul. Yeah, you've got to utilise the matchup there, and that's exactly what she did. Swain, a lot shorter, was always going to have trouble with that one there. So uh, Vandercamp getting to the line. The challenge now for Vandercamp, of course, is... Getting to free throws. Yes. 
And knocks down the first. Could have been a big weekend for the Bandicam family. Of course, brother Hamish is at the high school championships, part of the 9-10 winning Sacred Heart College team. They took it out. And of course, now Eli's getting her opportunity for a spot in the grand final on Friday night. Aaron on the hook. Just long on that one. And here's where you can just sense Swisher have held it up for a little bit. Let's see whether they can continue to make the most of it now. Steindl for three. Looks good. Is good for Kayla Steindl. Did not much more to add to that one, Ronnie. Just you knew it was going to happen at mm, some point. Absolutely. One of the first three of the game as ball goes out of play. That's back to you, Taz, here. So play to restart. Just under 90 seconds before in the major break. And good hands by Broomhall. And now ball back down low to Bandicamp. And just a bit off on that one. And it's, it's, it's got to take yep. advantage of that size. You know, when you've got that mismatch there, that's something they do want to look to make the most of. Ball to Steindl. Michael. Now Ferguson at the corner for three. Yes. And here's the run we just spoke about. We knew at some point Swisher were going to try and amble back. And all of a sudden they've got it back out to 15. Yes. Sir, yes. Well, one stage I think we got as close as six, JB. Correct. Now, as you mentioned, back out to 15 here. Rhodes now. Vandercamp. For the unlikely three. Not there. Swain. Steindl. Back to Swain we go. Cross court, Ferguson. Floater. In and out on that one. Bartler with the rebound. There's 30 seconds to go. Utahs need a, a basket of stop and a basket again if they can. Otherwise, they will be on the back foot. I think that's what they're going to be here for the rest of this quarter. Beattie trying to look for Rhodes inside. And then Steinl does recover her in interception. And now Steinl looking to go to work here. Throws it up and gets it to go. She'll go to line for one. That's just dumb good. Dumb good. Well, how do you stop that? You've pushed her with two arms and forced her to fade. She still gets it up and banks it. She's going to the line for and one to hopefully, for a Swisher standpoint, put the margin at 18 and essentially in a minute and a half burst end this game by half time. Yep. And Steindl makes the three-point play. So margin out to 18. Chess versus checkers, Ronnie. Yep. Absolutely. Last play here of the second quarter. Utah's looking to score in his possession. And Bartlett on cue does. And that will take us to the halftime buzzer. And the margin back at 16 points here at the major break. Swisher lead at 55 to 39. You are tuning into Tassie Summer Slam Summer League on Chargers TV and our coverage of women's semi final night. Brought to you, of course, by the team at Live Eat. Healthy eating. Uh, the quick way, the right way, get into Live Eat today. And, of course, the semi-final broadcast sponsor for the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam Women's League is Total Denture, Cl Total Denture Care Clinics. Andrew, Tristy and the team love nothing more than to keep your smile shining. So see them today at one of their locations in Kingston, Sorrell or Newtown for all your denture care needs. Ronnie, we got halftime stats. P. Rhodes leading the way with 13 points for, for the Utah side and 2 of 5 from the land of plenty and 4 of 8 from the field. Leah Bartlett with 10 and she's 4 of 6 from the field. So good shooting numbers there for Leah Bartlett. I'd like to see her rebound rate go up a little bit. She's only got the four rebounds at the moment. Then Abby Brown with eight, and then Ruby Aaron with seven uh, as the, amongst the top four scorers there for Utah. Kayla Steindl, 24 and nine. She's 10 to 13 from the field. She's perfect from the line. She's perfect from the land of plenty with two assists. 12 points, two assists going the way of Ellie Ferguson. Chloe Broomhall, eight and eight. Meanwhile, it's eight points, three rebounds, eight assists as well to Nye Harris and uh, Rose Michael with three there. As well, Ronnie, we mentioned that it was sort of at that goal or low point just before about 90 seconds to go heading into half time. And certainly uh, for Swisher, it was go time. And all of a sudden for Utah, it, it's now appearing as woe time as that margin, even though it is at 16, doesn't really reflect the ease of which Swisher have been able to get on their runs. Yes, absolutely. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to not... Say, not have the yawn come out there on, li on live air. It's all right. Uh, they struggle to hear us when we speak without um, incoherence, <laughs> Ronnie, so I don't know how that would change things. Yes, it's very true. But, uh, you yeah, know, 
you Taz have a really shown good fight. It's just been Swisher just kept good control of this ball game, and it just really does had answer after question after question from you Taz. Uh, it's the defensive end now where you just got to sort out what can we do. What can we do better? Are we doing everything in our power? Is it just good? O, is it just good O from Team Swisher that is really, you know, capitalising the 16-point lead? You know, I think they're trying everything in their power. I just think it's good offence from um, from Team Swisher um, for most of it as we get underway here but in the second it, half. I think it looks too, Ronnie. You look at the ability to actually convert from some matchups as well. That's something that Swisher are definitely doing. Utah's not so much. Rose Michael on the drive. She, uh, she felt she got a hit. Referees uh, decided to let that one play. So Utah's down the uh, uh, scoreboard end of the Swisher end of the floor. And ball goes out of play. That will go back to Swisher here. As it's a quick halftime break. Both teams back at it. The ball with Ferguson. And then Harris working away. That was a travel. That was definitely a few steps right there. Yeah, just a couple of extra ones there. I like the uh, enthusiasm, but yeah, just a couple of extras. So play restarts here as Ruby Aaron brings it down the floor. Now Rhodes, Bartlett, who's going to, like I say, get a good first half. Now wants it low. Bartlett looking to go to work. Just had to be careful that off arm, which was a little bit high, but she still gets it done nonetheless there with that two. Yeah, nice finish. So they're just picking it back a little bit, but it is a matter of knowing the Swisher run is going to happen at some point in this quarter. Absolutely. Ferguson now pulls up from a long two. Couldn't get that to go. Bartlett with the rebound. Here's where Swisher, you know, need to be cautious defensively here. Utahs have looked their best when they've been in the half court and been getting that ball movement, presenting multiple options. So ball down low once again with Bartlett. Bartlett up strong, and that, that's a spooly ball down low, JB. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, key, though, the rest of the team actually spaced out and gave her plenty of room to work. So Ferguson, nice fake. Step back three. Looks good. He's short, though, on that. Looks straight. And then Jeez. Strasma draws, gets... Uh, um, gets called for that one there. Gets hit on the arm. Yeah, look, to be honest with you there, Kayla, it's, it becomes a songless battle there. Kayla is just um, more solidly built there with Maddie, and she bounced off her like a pinball. Yep, absolutely. As Steindl, Steindl misses the first. Sorry, oh, I had 30 cigarettes, but I walked in on it. Jeez. <laughs> oh, you are right. We'll get there. Okay, no worries. <laughs> good, good grief. As uh, Steinle goes one of two from the line. I hope people understand I'm being sarcastic about the cigarette. Yes, I was going to say, I, I didn't feel the need to add, add on any further with, with that one there, JB. <laughs> Meanwhile, Aaron putting it to the floor. going, And that's a good, nice catch and seal there from Matty Strassman for the two. And that's taking advantage of the matchup, And that's yes. what they've got to do more of. Margin back to 11. Absolutely. So we're kind of swinging and, swinging and chewing between this... Double digit lead and then a single digit lead, but again, Swisher with, with all the answers at this point in time. Michael for three is off, and then, well, that was well directed or well read. One or the other, Steiner gets another two. And it's just the passing of Kayla, too, and it, it all comes down to the fact, Ronnie, that Kayla's closer to 6'2 than everyone else who's about 5'6. It's You can see more of the floor. And Aaron misses that three, last touch by Bartlett, so Swisher will get it back. Substitution. As Amy Wiggins comes in. Uh, Amy Brown. And of course, Ronnie, just using that, I mean, you and I would know locally down in Queenstown, there was one guy there, Rob Williscroft. He was 6'6". Yes. Six, six. He was the tallest bloke in the league. Best passer because he just sees more of the floor. It's not Absolutely. something to harp. It's not something that, you know, oh, it's amazing. No, if you see more of the floor and more options, you're able to make better passes, and that's exactly what Kayla does. Correct. Yeah, and that's a very good point you make, Joe B. As Harris misses the two on that one. And now Aaron off and running here. So Aaron splits for a couple. Nice hands by Harris. Now Steindl up the floor here to Broomhall. Into Harris. Good, Good running work. by Pierre Rhodes. Yeah, knew exactly what was going, going on there. And I think for Swisher, that's a moment of clarity as well. Okay, maybe we do sort of pick that a little too easy for the opposition. Occasionally a pass fake, maybe pulling up for the jump as way to go. Absolutely. Steindl into Michael, and again, good vision good, and good pass into, into Michael for the two. Yeah, easy finish there by Kayla. So, again, though, doesn't seem like much, but this margin's back out to 15. Yeah, 
It doesn't feel like it. It feels like we're closer than that. Than 100%. That. Wiggins. Not going to go to work. But gives off to Bartlett. Roach open at the corner there. But Aaron, look at the split. And good hands by Harris. Bartlett. If she lost the handle. Bartlett won the foul referees. Didn't see it that way. As Harris goes up. Acrobatical. And wasn't able to finish that one. Now Ferguson puts it to the floor. Harris for three. Just off. And good work by Strasmer. And Wiggins picked it up and along with uh, Bartlett. Now Rhodes with it as we come back down the floor. Good chasing by Swisher on the perimeter. Oh, by Utah's on the perimeter there. Rhodes short on the three as Harris picks up a rebound herself. And she'll she's flirting with that double double, the points and assists, Ronnie. Yes. Definitely so. It'll be, again, it'll be interesting to see when the boys bring the stats at three quarter time. An interesting high post feed. Yes, certainly is. Steiner with a seal. Yep. Oh, oh pinball pass. Yep. Get and it. Bang. Get it. Damn. It's good play. It's good play. And, so. and that's what makes Kayla so hard to cover, too, yeah. because you're gonna, you've got to play from in front and behind. There's no way you can leave Kayla Steiner with a seal in an isolation play down the low block. No definitely, way. No, definitely not. Substitutions here as Hayley Geard. Look at the check-in. Hayley Geard? Yeah, Hayley Geard. Number seven, Jabo. Oh, Hayley must have been a lady. I must have missed that one, Ronnie. Was she laid into the building? I, I'm i not sure. Must have been. Wasn't on the bench there in the first few quarters, but yeah, it's good to see her in. Yeah, she's here. Had me wondering. I'm thinking, huh? Apologies no, no. to the Geard family there. Good yes, to see her yes. on the floor. As Michael will draw the foul and go to line for two. Yeah, that was a level of ignorance there. I hadn't seen Hayley come in. But good to see her in, getting some minutes. Another no. player who's worked hard and rising through. And, of course, Ronnie, part of that star-studded junior um, Southern Wolves team through yes. 16s and 18s. Who, Absolutely. Uh, are absolute world beaters currently across the state. Yes, uh, d Definitely. As well as Michael banks that one in for a uh, free throw. I'll tell you what, she's throwing coins against the glass there. Mm. Didn't know the ATM had that kind of option. Yes. I'd like to see that. And <laughs> she missed a second. To be fair, she's going to bank him and make him. You go for it. Yeah, might. well, when you're up by, this, when you're up by this much, no problem. Rhodes. Now looking for Wiggins, but goes to Aaron instead. And Steiner will out-rebounds everyone on that one. As Geard, well, nearly, well, Schauber again, gives off to Steindl. Broomhall now. Geard for three. Just missed her opening shot. But good to see her take those shots, though, which was the well, right look. Well, that's the thing. You've still got to take the shot, though. You've got to relish your opportunities. Bartlett. Rhodes for three. Yes. Nice shot there by Pierre Rhodes, so... 48 points now for Utah, starting to make a bit of a spiel. They've got to really tighten up this last, these next two minutes, though, if they're a chance. Mm. Michael into Broom. Oh, That's a gr stop it. great two-man action on the play, JB. And... Broomhall goes to line for one. Tell you what, for a player that was rumoured to be having limited minutes with Nice on us right now, she's showing no signs of it. Correct. Watch that clock, Mr Rhodes. <laughs> yeah, don't move it. I, I've been told that you can't really move that uh, box. Don't, yep, you can't touch it. To be honest yeah. with you, you start touching it, you're in trouble. Also been advised, this is the fir fourth week straight that this score box has had issues <laughs> as well too. So no. Hopefully in the uh, Christmas break we'll get it fixed. <laughs> Am I missing something here? No, scoreboard's no, updated. 67 no, 48 Jeez. JB. Meanwhile, Brown to try and must limit that margin, not to no avail. Must have been one of those funny cigarettes. <laughs> we could have well been. Meanwhile, Broomhall and Michael for another sh No, not there. Catch by Vanderkamp there. That was as easy as you like. Yes. Now, Aaron, well, she nearly lost it, but able to regain it. Broomhall, oh, sorry, not Broomhall, Aaron going to work. Now Bandercamp for the two, not there. Now, Steindl. Steindl trying to uh, stop some props and now gives off to Michael. Finds an opening and easy as you like. Oh, Rose, Michael. And do you want to know what, Ronnie? Oversold it with a pass fake. If yep. she'd have just gone straight up, there was no one within five feet of her in that Absolutely. lane there, Rose. Absolutely. Brown to make him pay. No, not on that occasion. Steiner with about 14 rebounds now. Yes. Now Geard. Looking inside the broom hall. Oh, good Gib. And then great work there by Geard, but couldn't make that to go. Yeah, defense there by Wiggins. Mm. Aaron. Brown. Wiggins. Wiggins looking for 
Bandicamp by Ford, but no, they go back to Aaron instead. Aaron looking to really attack hard. Up and under, no, won the call. And Carl Braining uh, deciding not to go with the whistle on that one as Ferguson knocks down the two. The Utahs thought they might have gone a timeout there, but they choose to hold up. Margin at 21. So this game really now just blowing out. And right now, Swisher in that box seat for a spot on Friday night. Broom Hall with the interception. Into uh, Ferguson and then Geard, good running. Oh, couldn't get that to go. Michael back in the Broom Hall. Broom Hall strong. Extra pass. Over to Ferguson at the corner. We'll get. Don't. No. Thank you. I was going to say good. And good eye board by Rose Michael. But Just. Um, Effort on the glass there, I'd have to mm. say, Ronnie. I know that Utah's come away with the ball, but they can't be happy, happy with that effort there. Gave up too many easy looks. Absolutely, as Aaron makes up for it down the other end with a three. Yeah, nice shot there, though. Does convert, but at the same time, it's all right to get points on the board, but you can't be relishing the fact that you scored just because purely because the opposition didn't. Absolutely. 69-51, our scoreline here is Steindall draws the foul there on Bartlett. The two teammates acknowledge each other on that one. 145 remaining here, tuning into the Tassie Summer Slam. Summer League on Chargers TV, semi-final round. Brought to you, of course, by Live Eat. Healthy eating the fast way, the right way. Getting to Live Eat today. And, of course, Andrew and Tristy Ferguson, the crew at Total Denture Care Clinics. Yeah, no, great to have everyone on board with us for out this last month and a half or so. It's been so much fun. Looking forward to Friday night as well, too. As Rose Michael decides to go for the garage door and throws that one on in, court. Throws that into the office, minute 34 remaining. Margin at 18. And again, we're back to that put up or shut up situation. Yep, kind of do or die time, really, to some degree here. Just being a camp. Beatty, now Bartlett. Oh, everyone combining on the passes here, good to see. Now back low, Bartlett here. Oh, nice move, but couldn't get the, couldn't get the finish. So Ferguson now slowing this one down. Michael. Green, nice. Oh, rejected by Bartlett. Get that out of here. Good defense there. She has a runner. Bartlett slowing this oh, into Beatty. Now Brown this time for a long two. Well, we'll say we'll ban the camp from the clouds. Couldn't get that two to go. Ferguson. Both teams slowing this one down. Steindl, spin, pass, extra pass, green for the mid-range, just off. And, and no it, one boxing out. No, no one boxing out at all, JB. Ferguson God, doesn't make him play. That annoys me. I'm sorry to sound it. You can't have three people around the rim in a situation where none of the opposition are there, not only not box out, not get possession of the basketball. It's a, it's a good point, JB. If I was coaching right now, I'd be very woeful on that. Bartlett. Now Beatty, nice fake, the runner just a bit off. Unfortunately hit the support system and ball was out of bounds. 12 flat remaining here. Now for Swisher, they'll want to get down and get this back out towards 20 points here to end the third term. Let's see what they can run. Absolutely. So Michael now, Ferguson, game clock at six. Ferguson gets it back. 4-3, just a bit flat. And geared band camp. No, no one. And... Three quarter time buzzer goes. 18 point lead to Team Swisher here today are in the box seat for a spot in Friday night's grand final. You are tuning in to the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam women's semi final evening, and of course, our broadcast for this evening is brought to you by Total Denture Care Clinics. Andrew Tristy and the team love nothing more than to keep your smile shining. So see them today at one of their locations in Kingston, Sorrell or Newtown for all your dental, denture care needs. And of course the crew at Live, Elt, Live Eat, healthy eating, the fast way, the right way, getting to Live Eat today. As the fellas get ready to roll on over yep. with stats here at three quarter time, Ronnie. Yes, absolutely, JV. And... Uh, Let's see. P Rhodes leading the way, 16 points currently at the moment. And then Lee Bartlett with 14. Ruby Aaron with 10. And Abby Brown at 8. Kayla Steindl, 11 of 14. A 1 of 1 from 3. She's finally missed a free throw, but she's got 27 
and 15 with four assists there. And how does that work? Uh, that's just really, really good, I would say, Ronnie. <laughs> yes. That's the easiest way to put it. Double-double there for Broomhall. 10 points, 10 rebounds. 15 points to Ellie Ferguson. Of course, Harris still flirting with a triple-double there. Eight points, eight assists, four rebounds. Shout-out to the boys on stats. And, of course, Jacob on the camera doing... Yes, wonderful work as always. Yeah, no, good to see the crew he in here tonight. Of course, final one for me, Ronnie, for twenty yes. twenty three of all all forms of broadcasting. Absolutely, unless we unless we bring the roving camera down to the committee in a couple in a, in a week's time and have that around the lads. But I don't think we will do that at all. We'll never be able to work again. <laughs> oh, no, if we ever, yeah, that's very true, JB. Ever, ever again. <laughs> Jeez. Just wanted to throw that one in there for no reason, Joe. <laughs> anyway. I'd, I'd see you, evidently no reason. <laughs> Jeez, there's no reason to tell you what. It's Don't worry, we're not putting it in the group chat, that's for sure. Oh, my goodness. Sweet cream and an ice cream <laughs> sandwich. Okay, Joe, will be enjoying a, a small break, that is for sure, as Abby Brown get us underway here. Small of a break as you can have. Absolutely. I look forward to some holidays in a few weeks' time. Brown now into Strasma. Puts up the mid-range too. Couldn't get it to go. And then, well, Barlett working hard there and able to regain it. So good shot by Leah. Now Rhodes. A little bit congested here on this set, but it doesn't matter as Rhodes knocks down that two. Utahs have to play like they've got nothing to lose right now. They're down by 15 in a semi-final. Absolutely. Ferguson for the response. Not there. Beat him with the rebound. Bartlett. Bartlett trying to go the old, trying to draw foul there. I don't think the referees were falling for that one. Bartlett back to the roads. And then good hands by Green. And Bartlett wanting something there, but she's no not. No point being frustrated when you don't grab the ball. It's a good point. It is a good point, JB. Like if it's going to be a scrappy affair and both players are hitting towards it, at some point there's going to be a level of contact. You grab the ball and they swing towards you, different, different story. Absolutely. Play continues as Rhodes for three, yes. Yeah, and they've got Pia in the hot pocket right there. Margin at 12. And this need, and I think the time is now. That run needs to happen for uh, Utah's JB. As I feel like this game is threatening to boil over. But they need to defend. Yes, that, so they come. Quick double, and then Steinle for three. Just long on that one, so they, get, they live another day on that possession. Brown... Rhodes for back-to-back -back triple, oh, not oh, there, no, did everything but go in. Would have been for three in a row too. You just wonder whether that sucks the momentum out of your run. That could, that, I'll tell you what, that, that could be a difference in this game right now. 12 bar margin, Harris going to work, loses control. Bartlett's grabbed an ankle. Yep. Meanwhile, Rhodes is down the other end here. His play will continue on. She's not well. Brown for three, just long. Strasma working her way in and now... Bartlett's going to the bench uh, yeah. there. She's grabbing at her foot. Yeah. She come there. She took a hard hit there from Harris. Absolutely. Mm, so now, let's hope she's okay. The question is who goes on? It's Aaron. Aaron. So she's this will this is a gonna yeah. try and walk that one off. Broomhall wanting to get back into this one as well. She's got that double double. This poor Majuk Deng's got the uh, got the break here as the kids are on the bench <laughs> being entertained by the players. Yes, of course, Chaz Ashland down there as well too, Joe. They're not suiting up tonight either. No, she's a little unwell, so she's um, taking the night off. But she's yeah. uh, seems like she's found her role on the team here along with uh, Holly Nash, who yes. are well and truly on babysitting duties. Absolutely. The uh, check will be in the mail, no doubt, uh, for the uh, invoice. Steindl. And then Green just lost it on that one. Right idea, but just unfortunately Green couldn't wrangle that one in. So Utahs again to get another opportunity here to just try and get this margin back and bring some momentum back in. And that small crowd of supporters as well too who made some good noise. Rhodes splits for a couple, yes. Yeah, and Pia Rhodes trying to do her best to get this team over the line. Back to 10 now, so a, no, so a stop here, crucial. They've got it close within a six throughout the ball game, and they are threatening to take this game on as Steindl has other ideas. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised whether, especially in this last five minutes, if Kayla Steindl just needs to put the burners on, she's got those reserves to do it. Absolutely, JB, and we know she's a uh, championship pedigree type of player. 
And we'll step up when right needed. Right out of bounds. And yes, just Ruby Aaron was nearly totally out of bounds, in yes, fact. Yes, again, that corner. Just every week, the, both in the women's and the men's competition, the players are getting caught out. They just need to remember where they are on the floor. It's such an easy call for referees to make. Vanderkamp into the game here. Looks yep. like Wiggins has yep. gone for a spell. Wiggins or Beattie. Yep. Michael now. He is Steindl. And is that... Yeah, be foul first through. Ah, uh, foul on the floor. Yep, yep. went straight through yep. um, Stratzma's arm. Uh, that's all good. Of course, Belinda and Rick likely tuning in from home. I know that yeah. Belinda would be. I'm not sure whether Rick has a social game tonight. Oh, oh caught true. napping on the jump bar. Uh, yes, but Broomhall doesn't make him pay on that occasion. He's rebounding better, Utah's as well. Just single grab yes. at the basketball. We'll see. I'll get their rebounding statistics up at the end of the game, and we'll see where they land. Meanwhile, Rhodes, Aaron... Aaron trying to put it on the floor. Splits for a couple. Tough, mate. And two shots. Yeah, it was fouled there. Harris, that will be assessed on, I'm assuming. Yes. So, Ruby Aaron at the line here for two. Isn't Archie Stewart looking impressed beyond the bench? Archie never. <laughs> He's got his dad's natural disposition. He does. He does. Of course, Archie uh, supporting Ellie here tonight. First shot down for Aaron. Of course, Coco... In uniform, appears like she'll be back in after uh, an ankle injury last week. Yes. Hope she's okay. Yes. Uh, good to see her back in as Aaron goes 2-2. Two and, two and, yep, the uh, scoreboard having its uh, issues. Yeah, can't do much about that. That's right. Let's hope we're not uh, like they were in Cairns over the weekend with a big issue there. Meanwhile... Steinle couldn't get that to go. Now, Michael for three, and the bank is open. Yeah, and it's just those little dagger shots. It's that momentum that Utah's build and build and build, and it's a shot like that that just lets all the water out of the bathtub. Absolutely. That that one kills you because it come off glass as well too, which you don't like as a player. That's for sure. Now, Vanderkamp, flat looking three. Not, a, not there. Steinle from the clouds. Yeah, Steinle once again with a dominant display. And as play continues on here, Michael off glass once again. Couldn't get that to go. Broomhall with another rebound. Michael for the finishing touches? No. Good box out right yeah. there by Rhodes. Right, Rhodes hits the floor, but Actually, she's, she's all right. okay. Now Aaron pulling up for the mid-range. Couldn't get that to go. Harris with the rebound. So Harris is slowing this one down a little bit. Now puts on the Jets. Goes up strong. That's a good take. And a foul. It's got to count. Be assessed on Pia Rhodes. Yeah, late whistle there from Carl Browning. Thought that one was going to go through. Called eventually. And substitutions come in here. So Leah Bartlett rolling the dice here and will be coming back in. Swain and Ferguson looking to check that in as well too. Yeah, Vanderkamp getting her couple of minutes there that she's having per game, taking a spell. I just think it's probably too little too late at this point, Ronnie. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Fifteen, but I, I yep. see, you've seen stranger things happen. We have, and it's not happening tonight. No. It's a good movie in the cinemas, but it's not going to happen here at the Warren Stadium. That's very true, JB. As Aaron now comes down, Rhodes, trying to sp oh, split nicely, and gets that flow to the go. Yeah, Pia Rhodes has been an absolute standout in this game here for Utahs. Absolutely. That's, she's been having a great game right now, JB, so... We'll definitely make sure we get her stats up in the mentions at the end of the game. Now, ball down low. Oh, good touch pass. Swain, not there. Too flat. Yeah. Very flat looking shot. It, makes me, it does make me it's very interesting with a lot of players, Ronnie, that do have that really flat jumper. I just wonder what sort of work goes in. Yeah, it's always interesting. That is for sure. Brown now, who we know is very high arcing, and Steindl, well, she got all ball on that. Partlet somewhat smiling. I think she might have got away one there. Meanwhile, Harris, two pieces of the room without success. Now the ball with uh, Aaron here. Cross court to Bartlett. Bartlett this time. No. So Harris got the rebound and she's coming up the floor with the ball. Yes. We uh, had a bit of a stalemate at the moment. Both teams are drawing up offensively here. Steinle to prove me wrong? No, not on that occasion. So now Aaron down the floor once again. Kick out pass. Rhodes for three. Not there. 
So Ferguson up the floor here to Steinel, who is open, and the two. That'll do it, Ronnie, I reckon. Put a nail in it. No, I wasn't sure if James Murray may have actually wanted a timeout there, but he's let him play. He's letting him play. I think he, he might... Well, I just wonder if he's throwing the white flag, JB, as the ball goes out of bounds. Substitutions. Well, I'll tell you what, not bad there by Robin Rhodes. Just... Uh, and Agent Gusti has called a timeout here. So... 3.35 remaining as we have got 78 to 63. Swisher leader by 15. You are tuning in to the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam Women's Semi-Final Round, of course, brought to you by Live Eat. Healthy eating the fast way, the right way. Get into Live Eat today. And, of course, the semi-final broadcast sponsor of the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam Women's League is Total Denture Care Clinics. Andrew, Tristy and the team love nothing more than to keep your smile shining. So see them today at one of their locations in Kingston, Sorrell or Newtown for all your denture, denture care needs. 3.35 remaining, Ronnie, and I know it's not too much of a margin, but just that backwards and forwards there for a good two minutes, burning clock has really put you, Taz, back up against the wall. Yeah, absolutely, JB. And just some of those shots drying up a little bit too. And, just, you know, before when it got to 10 there, there was an opportunity, but just a couple of things just not going their way, and that kind of killed the momentum right there. So... Right now, I think we can safely say that Utah, uh, sorry, not Utah, Swisher will be through be the first first women's team through on Friday night. And they will either be taking on the Sweaty Betties or the Real Fit in our next matchup, Ronnie. And yes. that, I think, is a sleeper game. I think that's going to be a lot closer so. than people think. Absolutely. As the scoreboard again has its moment. Did we pack Jacob's headset away for him? That's all right. Yeah. I was going to say, like... If, if we've just taken them off the great man to show us how good the headphones can be, my lord. Yeah, it's, it's having its issues down there. Yeah, it's, it's fair to sure. say. Play continues. There's Aaron now. Vanderkamp. So Bartlett now cross court. Will Harris pick that one off? Now Harris will come up with it here. And then, well, good hands by Aaron, and good deflect, good well, good hustle on that defensive phase there by Ruby Aaron, just to knock that one out of Steinle's hands. So Ferguson to restart here. Yeah, and I think it's just to the point here with with Swisher Ronnie where they're going to want to slow down, they're going to want to get through a set. It's just going to be that simple to yeah. burn some clock. Absolutely. Right now, it's just ma time management here if your team Swisher. And just getting through some, some good sets. And Harris pulls up and miss everything. Bartlett with the rebound. It looks like that ankle's okay. Rhodes. And that is off the foot. So we'll, we'll continue with Utah's ball and so on. Bartlett low. Just some 2.30 remaining. And then good pass in the banner camp. That's a nice play there by Utaz. Yeah, nice execution there by Utaz just to get that one down low. 13 points in two minutes. It's possible, Ronnie, but I don't think so. No, unless you've got Tracy McGrady on your team as Steindl knocks that one down. The capable Tracy McGrady player is on the floor, Ronnie, but she's wearing a black uniform. That's right. On the other, on the other side. Rhodes. Aaron. Look at to go to work here. Now Bartlett, Aaron open for three, just off on that one. Good rebound by Bartlett, Aaron off glass, yes. Yeah, nice score there by Aaron, so margin at 13 yeah, again. Yeah, 13. But 100 seconds left in this game. Yes, fair to say, I think it's, I think it could be, well, well we have called it. Well, oh, a foul, yes, there'll be a foul on Harris. <laughs> she lost the uh, handle on that one, Shobi. Yes, indeed. Minute 34 remaining here. Yes, as, and as you as you mentioned, JB, of course, we're all fit taking on the sweaty Bettys. Of course, JB with the call for that one. Oh, do I? Um, uh, all right, then. Well, I suppose. <laughs> I can have a, have a crack at it. Yeah, well, yeah might, might as well. Well, I can still call off the monitor, so you that's can, not too You bad. can. Oh, well, that, you, you, you've got that skill set down, Pat, I'm telling you. You need glasses running. <laughs> Meanwhile, well, that I was think Bartlett got away. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> now I do. Now, Ronnie, I know that the I understand the premise of letting the play go, but something that obvious, I don't necessarily feel should be just let go to see the Correct. result. Whether the player makes the shot or not, they're clearly impeded illegally. That's a whistle. Yeah, it, it is. It is. And for, I think... Um, what, what have I missed on the board here? 67, 80. I just, no, I'm probably being slow. Mm. I am slow. Bartlett knocks down the first. Thanks for sticking up for me on that one, mate. <laughs> short, Jeez. What's a short... Just watch the, watch the tourist bus, the double-decker <laughs> tourist bus come by and threw me straight under it. Oh, dear. And Bartlett knocks down the second... And timeout, timeout. Yes, time, timeout here. As it would back to eleven point. Hang on, let's see, see what's going on no, here. No, hang on, let's just double check who's yeah. called. Timeout. They have allowed the timeout. Yeah. Now, oh yes, under in the fee in the fee. So under two minutes in in fever. And you're going off of course, right, rules. that makes sense. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. was going to say, because I'm sitting there going, no, I don't, I don't, I don't no, agree with that. No, no, I do uh, now. No, no, yes, uh, no, under two minutes, uh, we're, we're full fever. So, so yes, so that timeout will count. And uh, 11 points right now. So, I mean, yeah, it, good, luck, good luck to them. That's all, what we could say, definitely for sure. It's just going to have to make sure, execute Execute offensively, execute defensively, find a miracle, find a miracle, and and tie it. Put this game in overtime. That would be ideal. Is Machuk on ball carrying, uh, water carrying duties down? Jeez, there. he's done well. <laughs> he, he just <laughs> he's he strutted the, his way he casually. The big, fella, the big fella can't believe it. He's been reduced to water duties. Oh, good grief. No, good to see him along supporting. Good to see a yeah. nice crowd in actually semi finals. No, that's good. I mean, yeah, few the boys are. A few of the boys are in as well too. Will Ferguson, Jordan Walker. Well, the ball, well, the Luke, bar was meant to be happening tonight. Right? Uh, fr- I believe Friday night the bar. Friday night, okay. Luke Moore in the building as well too. It's Luke's birthday over the weekend. It's ha- happy, happy, uh, belated happy birthday well, to Luke. Yeah, and I dare say that he's he's here under duress based on our 18th birthday celebrations. Go running. Abs- yes, absolutely. Seeing uh, poor man got out of bed. That poor man went to bed yesterday and woke up woke up tomorrow. Yes. So. What are we see a bit of a press here from Utaz. And quick double. Now Steiner with it here. Yeah, that's the advantage yeah. they wanted. Now set stay centre court. Yeah, Steinel. Using clock. Broom hall. Back to Steinel. Steinel going to work and foul on the play. That's going to be assessed on Bartlett. The team foul here for Utaz. 102 remaining. So, Ferguson to restart here. Steiner wanting it. Now Ferguson putting it to the floor. Swain this time is off. Yeah, yeah, final minute here, and if you swish it, just slow it down. Absolutely. Michael, though, had other ideas. Groom Hall well read to pick up the scraps. Yeah, I think that was an accidental assist, but it'll count in the book nonetheless. Yeah, so I'm wondering if the boys will count that as an assist. Uh, a block from Ferguson, though. That was good defence there as Rhodes for three. Can't get that to go. Bartlett with the O board. And now Aaron short on that one. Michael Wibbert here. And that'll do it, Ronnie. Yep. Last 30 seconds Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Now, players will slow this one down. And jump ball. No, no. No foul. foul. God foul. took her arms first. Yep, yep, yep. Now, a little bit obscured here with the... Uh, that have to be nearly, That nearly has to be five on Bartlett. Has to be close. I was going to say... No, I don't see the paddles, so... Ball here with Broom Hall. Is that clock is yeah, no, no, to be yeah, fair, Robin wrote, to be fair, that's well played. Robin did yeah. start it earlier before. Ah, there you go. All right, two points there for Swain. That'll do it, Ronnie. Yep, it will. It's been a good fight from you, Taz, but Swisher have had all the answers in this ball game, and they are through to Friday night. Who they will play, we're not sure as yet, but a good win by Team Swisher and win it by 15 in the end, 84-69. to 69. Yeah, and that was just dominance there, Ronnie. Just as Utah's kept trying to bite back, it was just that next bit of execution that came from Swisher as the young fella gets in to shake hands with the entire crew. Sensation. Good on him. All the kids having a bit of fun down there. And, yep. of course, Juka managed to uh, get the water bottle 
albeit at the end of the game. But, I mean, Swisher have been the team all roster, Ronnie. They're the team to beat. Um, Utah's got off their three-game skid last week, and they played in spurts some good basketball today. However, playing in spurts against a team that has consistently been the team all year just makes things very difficult, and I'm sure the stats will reflect that one. Absolutely. Well, Pia Rhodes led the way for Utah's JB, 26 points, 9 and 17 from the field and 5 of 12 from the three. Lee Bartlett chipping in with a handy 16 points and 12 rebounds as well too. And Ruby Aaron with 14 points and four assists. And then Brown still had the eight. Yeah, on the other side here, one, two, three, four, five double-digit scorers here for Swisher. Steindl, the pick of the bunch, 33 and 17 with five assists. Getting it done, 14 and four for Ellie Ferguson with three assists. 13 and 12 for Broomhall with three assists. 12 points, four rebounds, five assists, Rose Michael. And ended up, ended up being 10 points, six rebounds, eight assists, and two steals there to Nairi Harris. Ronnie, we've got one grand finalist, and I tell you what, in a couple uh, moments' time, certainly, what are we at, by 8 o'clock. So 20 minutes is our break. That's a good little pause for us here. 8 o'clock will be the tip-off of our second game, and it will be the Sweaty Betty's taking on Real Fit, the winner to play Swisher in our grand final on Friday night. For the moment, we'll take a quick break.
We're back for our second game here of our double header. Real fit taking on the Sweaty Betties here from Roraine. And, of course, in the previous game, Utahs going down to Team Swisher. And Team Swisher are through to Friday night's grand final. As well as JB joins, hey. joins us back in the broadcast after talking with the masses. Yes, yibbity yibbity, Ronnie, just uh, doing the uh, wandering around the place. Of course, confirming a few different things that we saw, a few different things expected heading into the game. But uh, yes, a war of attrition here in this next one. Yes. As uh, we get to go underway, McCauley and, sorry, that was Davey and Mills in the tip. Sweaty Betty's real fit, Ronnie. What are you expecting out of this game? Of course, we've seen that run of the Sweaty Betty's had just before they had a loss last week, around that three on the trot. But, of course, real fit. Just that mixture of uh, veteran and youth that are never out of any game, essentially, that they're playing right. No, and I, and I really think with, with uh, real fit, you know, the, the, key, the key mark here is, is Davey, Waller and Greenwood. I feel like they're the main three. And, then, you know, Davey's your... your, your uh, Reagan Davies, kind of a dark horse, and then Murray just provides that, um, that talent and that youth. That and youth, yes, that's energy. what I was looking for. Yeah, absolutely. So I feel like that's the key. And then for the sweaty Bettys, it really comes down to can Mills get herself going from from down low, and then can Collins find that hot hand for con for the most consistent part of the game. Let's see how this one unfolds. Murray misses that jump shot there. Ball batted around. They need it on hands. Mills gives to Collins. She'll have ball handling duties here. It That's gets right up ahead there. That'll be Visor underneath. Couldn't get that to go. She's battled over the last couple of weeks. Erin goes up on that one there and scores. But I think Visor's had a good, you know, six or so weeks, JB. She's really come come out come out of her own and you know, has really shown good improvement throughout this roster. Yeah, really coming out of her skin and just playing a role and playing it well as Greenwood with a bit of a hook gets around, uses it well. Murray wants to go inside, doesn't. Goes to Sterling. Greenwood now on the elbow misses. Collins with a rebound, has support but chooses to go herself. Over the top there, nice takeaway there. As Aaron catches that on the transition, 4-0 start here to the real fit. I just want to be happy with that last defensive... Sorry, Sweaty Betty's. I just want to be happy with that last de defensive possession for the Sweaty Betty's because they let Greenwood have that open mid-range. Just something you can't allow, but you can't allow that. So just a missed assignment on, on the on the switch there, unfortunately, and Greenwood makes him pay. Yeah, scoreboard updated there. Of course, the irony that we've got the grey team with the blue logo and the blue team with the grey logo in this one, Ronnie. Yes. Ball for three, nails it. Sweaty Betty's 7-0. And, and, they, and they've been finding her range as well, too, throughout this roster as well, too, JB. She's really come along leaves and bounds. You know, she's had a new scenery this year at, at, at Glenorchy as well too. So it's been good good for her development. Waller getting inside, couldn't get that to go. Wants a second opportunity around Mills, rides the hip there. And Mills just puts her on her ort and says, you will go to the line for two. Yeah, Emma just, uh, you know, that veteran savvy skills now that she's got, she can utilise to her advantage. You know, and, and as, you, as we mentioned before, JB, that mixture of youth and veteranship here, uh, I think is a really good fit for this team overall. And then you've got Matt Bennell, you know, one of our, you know, one of our current assistant coaches with the, with the men's program at the moment, you know, really providing that, that, that good coaching and good feedback to, to all these players. Second at the line there. Wallow rattles that home, one of two from the line. Of course, the winner of this, Ronnie, going on to play Swisher who uh, had the emphatic win in their last game. As that one is taken away, transition here by the real fit, floated by Murray, no good, taken by Mills. So Mills and Collins, you would think the uh, pedestal of the two. Nice there by Aaron on the three of the pass, I should say. Third time's a charm, makes it 9-3 our scoreline. Yeah, it's good running and a really good finish by Aaron as well too, just to and get her confidence going in this ball game. So that would be a good opening basket for her. Murray nearly loses that one there. Kylie Davey now down low. Kick out past Greenwood. Davey relocates off the block. Catch and shoot while no good. Sterling in pursuit. Battling down there with ball. Collins down. Pass out. Murray. Visor closes out. Blown by almost. Murray floater no good. Mills among the trees was hacked on the rebound. 
and that will be going the other way there. Sweaty Betty's in the grey, blue for the real fit. Ironic on the graphics, as we mentioned there, blue for the Sweaty Betty's and grey for the real fit. You're not trying to get yourself colour blind here, are you, JB? Or? No, the colour confused, Ronnie. Ah. Everyone knows I'm blind. Like a welder's dog. Whoa, hand in the face there by Murray. I think she got away one yeah, day, Absolutely, JB. but it was innocuous. Turning, spinning, ball, couldn't get that to go. Of course, on the bench down there, Lily Demanyi yes. and Bridie McCaffrey. Meanwhile, on the other side, it's Reagan Davey as the sole rotation. Collins from 15 is good. Yes, of course, Porsche Chopping still way in America currently at the moment with the Basketball Tasmania Group. And they were at Duke University today, JB. Yes, I've seen that visiting Chapel Hill and sorts. Yes. Went to Clemson for a game. Good little tour there. Good to see the yes. BTAS tools back up and running. As Absolutely. Look, as Davey goes to the line, fouled and one opportunity. Of course, Eva Schiltz yes, missing Eva, yes. as well. Yes, uh, yes. Good, uh, good, good point she there. She had Jeremy. a nice little game before going on that tour there. So that'll be a, a nice confidence build for her heading into heading overseas. Abs Absolutely. So something that I thought we'd say we'd have players missing due to international duties. Well, there's always a first for everything, JB. There is, and that was it. Yes. Keep going Ooh, through. Just a, just a oh, errant pass, but well recovered by Collins in the end there. Corner, ball, three, back iron, no good. Rebound, contested. Ooh. Aaron inside, Mills turning, pivoting, couldn't score that. Visor hanging off of, of Davey there, gets down the uh, floor. And that's a nice drive there by Waller, couldn't get that to go. With the five or so minutes remaining here, Tassie SummerSlam semi-final coverage of our women's league. Of course, brought to you by Live Eat. Healthy eating the fast way, the right way, getting to Live Eat today. And, of course, the team at Total Denture Care Clinics, Andrew and Tristy Ferguson. Thank you for your support once again. Oh, nice thread there. Murray on the cut and is rewarded. Yeah, no, very well rewarded there, JB. And good hits up play. And Murray just smart there to keep running through and then able to get that pocket pass into, into her for a nice two. A margin at three. Double screen there as Ball wants to go inside. Splits the D, goes off glass, couldn't get it to go. Davey just with that off arm. Goes over the top to Greenwood, has support. Tip pass as it bounced straight off Visor, straight out of the bread basket. Subs here, McCaffrey and Demanyi heading in. McCaffrey with the NC State, with the NC Tar Heel Blue shorts. Yes. And Demanyi rocking and rolling in with those pink sneakers as well. I was going to say, we speak about Duke, JB. We speak about their arch rivals in uh, North Carolina. Yes, Chapel Hill. Mm. Of course, North Carolina State as well, visited yes. by the BTAS team. And the margin is now out to one, Ronnie, 11 to 10. Yeah, no, this has been good. Good back and forth. And I think maybe out of the two games tonight, this will be a better, better matchup, so to speak. Utah's playing one of their best games of the season, of course, the Carlos Steindl factor. 53 and 17. Oh, absolutely. I mean, who can stop Carlos Steindl right now? Well, you, you, know. would, you would argue skill set for skill set. There isn't, there isn't many better players in this state than Carlos Steindl. Time out taken, of course, brought to you here in the Tassie Summer Slam by Olivier. That's healthy eating the fast way, the yes. right way. Get into Olivier today and, of course... Ronnie, we couldn't do it without our broadcast sponsor Correct. and the, tw the semi-final broadcast sponsor for the 2023 Tassie SummerSlam Women's League is Total Denture Care Clinics. Andrew, Tristy and the team love nothing more than to keep your smile shining. So see them today at one of their locations in Kingston, Sorrell or Newtown for all your denture care needs. 424 remaining, Ronnie, mm. margin at one and we mentioned this was probably going to be the game of the round and it's certainly yes. living up early on that one. I oh, absolutely living up to all e expectations right now, JB. And like I say, it's going to be a war of nutrition out there really for both teams. Um, you know, Collins will find that three-pointer to, to drop throughout. For, for you know, again, I'd love to see the uh, Mills just get more, more touches with that ball. And then meanwhile, you know, right now it's been, you know, Waller's been the aggressor. Uh, Greenwood's getting getting involved, and, and Murray has also been getting involved. So, and Davey hasn't had to the, the Davey hasn't had to do too much to a, to a degree. Now there's a little bit of reserve coming in as well too, as uh, Alex Finlayson uh, has finally entered the building as well too, JB. Oh, there we go. Finney, yep. better Finney's just walked in during the time. Yeah, out. better late like than never. And uh, she will be an impact player in this one as well. Absolutely. And we know Finney can be that knockdown shooter from that from that long two. So I expect Finney to have some impact when she does get in there, especially on the offensive end. 
that one deflected there by the real fit running down the floor is yeah is Waller she was fouled yeah McCarthy just getting caught out of position there JB and you know again good take by 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 Emma and uh, again Emma just showing that 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 old self in her where she used to be that aggressive player getting it to the rim and we know she can be that knockdown three-point shooter as I've seen in my time officiating her games. Shout out to text line there. We will have grand final times for you imminently. We are just yeah, getting uh, the uh, confirmation on those ones. Are you, uh, have you, uh, you asked the commish? No, I'm doing a search myself. Oh, right, yeah. No, all right. But yes, looking forward to Friday night. I... I'm hoping the bar, I'm hoping we'll get confirmation about the bar being open as well too, JB, because we'd love to see the, you know. Yeah, unfortunately, business will likely be down with one of its key consumers not yes, here. Yes, that's 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 correct. Con actually, confirming their team having a look Friday night for those wanting to know. Coverage yep. from 6.30 in the women's, which will be yep. Swisher taking on the winner of this game. Okay. And, of course, in our men's competition running. Barn burner of a game coming up there, Utahs versus Swisher. Utahs undefeated, much like Swisher in the women's. Yeah, it's going to be a cracker of a cracker of a two games on Friday night as Collins gets that one to go down, Joe. Nice shot there by Collins. So 13-12 our margin. All right, myself and Jake will be here Friday night. Yes, unfortunately I will be away. It's uh, taking advantage of the Christmas break running. Absolutely. No, we can't blame you, JB. Good. I wouldn't want to know what would happen if you did. Taken by Greenwood, who banks that one in. <laughs> so we're in the tug of, we're in the tug of war yes, game all of a sudden now. It's going mm. to come down possession by possession. And this is where, no matter how early or late in the game it is, Ronnie, it needs to be execution. Well, absolutely. Right now, both teams are just showing the offensive production. So not too much defense being played on either end of the floor right now. So really now, it's a matter of, you know, making sure that you knuckle down defensively and try and find an edge here somewhere. McCauley three, no, D sorry, Davey three, yes. no good. Sterling recovers. And we are to be confirmed on the bar there, Ronnie, from the commission. But we'll oh, get righty, no worries. To be confirmed on to the bar, but live stream will be happening. Yes. We encourage everyone to get to a rain. Last bit of basketball action in the state for the year. Yes, absolutely. I think this is the longest we've gone, JB. I think... Um, aye, aye. Yeah, I... <laughs> aye, aye. Yes, I don't think we've gone any... No, yeah, well, the first, first week of December was our latest last year with yeah. the 22s oh. final. Oh, yes, we're about, we're, we're about to beat that, Chobo. Going to smash that. And Absolutely. a chance for Waller to tie this one up after yes. making a nice and one opportunity for herself. Mills coming into the game along with Ball, and that'll see Visor and Erin for a spell. And while Sterling has gone for a spell. So Waller is asserting herself in this game right now, which has been good. You know, 17 like, points apiece. You know, again, we're seeing, I'm seeing that Emma of old out there working her way into this game nicely right now. She can get that three ball going. Look out. Emma, no younger. She'd be your age or a little younger, Ronnie? Uh, we're, we're similar age, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure I she's proud of you. Oh, yeah, I don't, I I don't I'm, sure <laughs> she's, I'm sure she loves to hear the word old when I you mention that I was going to say, she, I, know, I know she'll be... She'll be absolutely gunning for me if I get this if I get it wrong. Yeah, you're right, <laughs> and I will not stand in her way. If I she know, wants to. and as much as we're really good mates off the court, we, <laughs> you know. yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be on the other, other the receiving end of, of, oh, of, of her ra of her war, rap. Her wrath. Wrath, thank you. You'll be on the. Uh, you'll be there by your lonesome too, and I'll film yes. it for evidential purposes. <laughs> of course you. And will. not for laughs in a group chat. Anyway, Correct. Davey. To Davey, has opened herself. She wants to go on the drive, dip down. Greenwood from 15, couldn't get it. But Davey, too big and strong down low, couldn't get it either. Wanting an outlet pass is Collins as she goes herself. Of course, Charlotte back in the country. Yes. And down watching there with Isaac and Jackson. Yeah. Zoe there by Isaac's uh, yes, shoulder. Yes, absolutely. Kendra Vise's mum over the back there. Yes, I do see it. Through hands, Lily, corner three. Oh. Get it! That's a nice shot. Very nice shot by Lily, who, again, relishing those pinch-hitting minutes, Ronnie. Absolutely, and put herself in a really good position to take that shot, JB. Good ball movement there by uh, the Sweaty Bettys, and great finish. Had a score adjustment there as well for real fit. Ronnie, currently yeah. at 15. Yeah, the score, uh, who's on the scoreboard? Jack Allen. Oh, no. No, I don't know. I doubt he'd be ripping his mum off. Well, he wouldn't want to. I'd <laughs> hope... No, that, oh. that must be right. There might have been something that we rushed on there. but Might I have been. I not think yes. we missed anything. Absolutely. No, it's, it's a who's who on that score bench up there, JB, by the way, too. Yes, absolutely. My goodness. 20 to 17. Inside there, Collins. 
Wanting the step yeah, through. Dump down to Mills. Oh, and that's a jump good ball. That's good. defense there by Davey. Yeah, Although, good. hang on. Do we have a jump? Yeah, yeah we do. Jumped. I think yeah. Davey thought she was going to get called for a foul then. No, no. Is she pretty clean on that, Jobo? Very clean. That's what I thought. I thought mm. Drunk horse. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Lily fighting again. Taking away Greenwood to Waller. Last four or 50 seconds of this quarter. Davey. Wanted to thread the needle inside. Doesn't matter. Collins got a hand to it there. McCaffrey, the runner in support. She wants to go herself. Collins does. Defense. And that one will be deflected out of bounds. Nice defense there by the real fit. Yeah. Again, but good to see Ellie really aggressive on the drive. You know, she probably wanted a call there. But, you know, she, she's persisting, which is good. And, you know, right now, let, again, keep, keep letting the game come to her and don't try and chase it. Collins wanting to thread baseline, defended out of bounds, Greenwood fouls. So confirming 6.30 and 8 o'clock this Friday for everybody. Get to the Moraine or tune in. 6.30 and 8. Yeah. So we'll be here by 5.30. Five, 5 yeah. Right. We'll give him Jacob a big task on Friday, Joe. Baby. So I'm hoping he can live up to it. And what's that? Set the whole thing up from scratch. I'm sure he'll be fine. Because you'll be here eventually at some point, won't you? I'll be here. I said I'll be here before him. I can guarantee that. God, no, pre it's not like this. So it's all right. I'm sure you'll do it, Jake. You'll be fine. <laughs> as long as there's as long as there's audio, it's not like Ronnie's able to set that up correctly. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> Only drive by, been able to give you. As Collins will go to the line for two. Twenty-four point four remaining. Bit of numerology there. Twenty-four. What have we got? Twenty-four point four. Four four thousand apiece. Yeah, where's that? There's <laughs> Greenwood. Try and get a photo of that. Greenwood heads out as Finlayson heads in. Yeah, I've got a photo. We'll, see, we'll try and send that for to Cam Ernie. That'll be relevant in March. <laughs> <laughs> Collins makes the first. I was going to say, I think we're back in March. Oh, no, April. We'll be back in April, yes, I think, JB. Back in April. Second shot yes. drops. Margin at five. Really important possession here for... Uh, the uh, real fit here. Yeah, they're going to need to execute. They've just got to be cautious with that passing. Davies, skip pass. Murray wants to step back on Collins. Didn't use it. Waller, corner, shoots. Sorry, Finlayson follows. Bumped out of the way. That's a prayer. And offline without distance. Corner time here for the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam semi-final battle between Sweaty Betty's and Real Fit and Sweaty Betty's running... Lead it by five, 22-17, of course, broadcast, brought to you as always by Louvite and our sponsors at Total Denture Care Clinics. How did you see the first quarter, Ronnie? Uh, yeah, first quarter was good by both teams. You know, they both come out strong. It was shot for shot, and then all of a sudden, you know, we've got this five-point five point margin now. So it's just opened up a little bit. Um, so the defensive end, though, I'd like to see a little bit more from, from each side as far as being a bit more aggressive is concerned as the boys come through with the, with the stats here. So... The Sweaty Bettys, I mean, you know, right now, Coco Aaron leading the way with 10 points. You know, she's five or six from the field, so she's, you know, shooting the ball at a really good commodity. And then next best is Ellie Collins with six. And, you know, none of three from deep at the moment. She really needs to, you know, she'll find a three and uh, need ball with three and uh, Nadibi with uh, three as well too. Four, six points for Josie Greenwood to go with a rebound and an assist. Four points each to Walla and Murray, who are both four points and one rebound. But Kylie, Mc Kylie Davey, ultimately having the big impact there, three points, two assists, five rebounds as well. Kylie stuffing the stat sheet where she can, of course, now broadcast of the... Yes, Will Ferguson just gives us the thumbs up. Don't worry, we're giving your mum and dad's work a good plug. And we would like to do it again if Ronnie would allow <laughs> me the breathing space. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Nothing like a little bit of encouragement. But the semi-final broadcast at the spot... Semi-final broadcast sponsor for the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam Women's League is Total Denture, Clare, Denture Care Clinics. Andrew Tristy and the team love nothing more than to keep your smile shining. So see them today at one of their location, one of their locations in Kingston, Sorrell or Newtown for all your denture care needs, Ronnie. Quarter time here, though. It's Tassie Summer Slam Summer League on Chargers TV brought to you by Live Eat. And it is 22-17 in favour of the Sweaty Bettys. Real Fit are going to have the opening possession of this one. Yeah, and Walla with, with a good a good take once again, but good D nonetheless. But again, Walla, and Collins just saying, get that one out of here. So Walla not afraid to keep attacking, though. 
Uh, but met by good defence on both occasions. Nice urgency there by Visor to get up the floor. Good passing. Easy score inside for two there for the Sweaty Bears. And, and again, Mills really working hard down low once again and getting rewarded nicely. Managed to work overdrive defensively here. Davey, short corner. Couldn't get that to go. Rebound Mills. Couldn't get that. Ball closes out. Skip over there. Visor with a late close out. Jump shot no good there by Waller. She wants to go herself again. Good defence there from Mills, and that'll be a jump ball situation. And it's good effort by Greenwood. Again, just being a, you know, she was really poised on a post move. He didn't rush it. You know, Mills, I thought, played some, some good D, but then good good offensive boards by Greenwood. As a turnover here, JB. Yeah, instant turnover there all of a sudden. You know, I think Waller wants a foul, but <laughs> the referees are not, not showing the love. Margin at 17. Fires it goes over the top there to Aaron. Wants ball movement. Hesitation. Uses the screen of Mills. Pulls up elbow jumper. No good. Need a rebound. That's Waller. Or is that Finlayson? No, Waller, Joe. It is Waller. Finlayson on the bench. So Murray now. Wants to go inside. Kicks out to Davey. Everyone above the foul line there as they look to go inside further. Not enough spacing though. Murray, corner, Davey, three, no good. Oh, no they? violation though, no. it didn't hit anything. No, it didn't look like it from our angle to show B. Yeah, nice awareness as the drive goes up. No good there by the real fit. That, did, that, that ball turned like everything, not like the pitch down at Geelong last night. Well, that didn't turn. That bounced everywhere and anywhere. Very, that's very true. It looked like it had an egg on the basketball. Murray has an open layup here. Goes to the side of the... Uh, yeah, good finish there by Murray. And good tra good hit out on the transition as well too there. Um, so that's that's nice work there from Real Fit. Two minutes gone here in the second term of the Tassie SummerSlam second semi-final. The winner will play Swisher after a 15-point win against Utah's Aaron goes down low. Collins doubled almost. Backdoor cut, not paid by Visor. Shot, Neve ball for free, no good. It's Davey. Goes to namesake in Davey. Threads inside. Greenwood has a seal. Who goes to Waller. Oh, get out of here. Mills, nice rejection. Wanted absolutely three-fifths of five-eighths to do with that. There's Sterling and fin Finlayson. Yep. And Collins coming out there. Ball coming out. and Reagan Davey as well. Oh, yeah, yep. And both girls very happy to have a breather down there by yes, the looks of it. Yes, by the sounds of it, Joe Bo, yes. Greenwood, though, good finish inside. Yeah, very nice finish there by Greenwood. So margin now at three, and it's back to a really competitive ball game here, but it is something like that that could have gone down to change the complexity of the game. It's not a bad look by Coco there, no, I Not thought. a bad look at all. Hmm. See how it continues to pay out. Murray wants to go inside to Greenwood who catches and scores. Nice speed though by Murray. Absolutely. Really good vision. Good seal though by Greenwood to get a clean catch and then a clean finish. McCaffrey high arcing three. Gets oh. it. Very nice response indeed. Now that's that's something we you know we'd love to see Bridie do a little bit more, JB, because She's renowned for that at the junior level. I'd love to see her do that a bit more here in this level. Chasing hard there. Just left her feet defensively. Tried to hold McCauley accountable. It was fouled there. Davey just going to the line. Well, that's the... Well, forcing it, Bridie to overplay. Mm, well, that's just, as you say, JB, death, taxes... Bread and, and butter, all bread that Bread and butter with, 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 uh, with, with Davey down low. Um, that's the kind of worry when you when you give it to Davy down low. It's like she, she knows what she's doing down there, and she's just a bit of a smooth operator, so to speak. Just fundamental smarts. Absolutely. And yeah, you know, she's a, a veteran, you know, a championship winner. She's been around a long, long time. So again, just you know, not having played at elite level for a season, it just goes to show that you know, she's coming out here and it's like riding a bike. Well, that's it. She really gets up there on Aaron and forces the turnover. Creates space there. Woo. Demani just goes down. Bang. Can't do much more than that. Just rode the hip there. Greenwood inside. Murray to tie the ball game. Couldn't get it to go. And there's Davey down low. She's been the impact player. Couldn't get that to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was my... <laughs> Leah Bartlett's playing again. Yeah. As Murray bounces good into the lap of Savile. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen that from her in Yonks. 
<laughs> bit of energy there as D Train comes wandering in. Max is, is that Max in the cricket gear? Is he just yeah. come from? Oh, he's just come from cricket, I reckon, mate. He plays every every sport known to man. Aaron wanted to call Green. The Hurricanes are playing too. I better get it. We'll check that in a sec. Oh, thread the needle, Murray. No good. Tunnel ball there. Demani threads to Visor, who wants to get out in the break, and she may very well go oh, herself. Here, we go. here Kendra. Gets oh yes. The score. Well done. Very nicely done, Kendra Visor. I don't even think she expected to have that level of freedom on the break. Absolute, absolutely not. But good on her, JB. Again, that's good aggression, good take, and you know, stepping up, which has been great to see. There's, there you go, though. Davy just bullying her way down on the low block. Murray now wanting space. Floats up. Couldn't get that to go. Mills there. And Murray from the weak side takes that away. Just leaves Sterling open. Just snatched it like no tomorrow. Good triangle passing there. Murray three. Couldn't get that to go. Demanya with a rebound. She gets in. McCaffrey's off and running. Goes over to Visor. Will she go the pass again? She yes. does, but she took the extra step. Ben will want to go to timeout button here too, JB. Yeah, and he's hit it straight away. 29-24. You are tuning into the Tassie Summer Slam semifinal coverage here on Chargers TV. 4.54 remaining, Ronnie. And this game slowly breaking out again, but still fairly competitive. Absolutely. And just quickly, the Hurricanes, six for 101 after 15 overs, two oh, for the people tune. Sure. People might be tuning Why into would two you screens. Ruin the game sorry. With that? Oh, sorry. I didn't really. Jeez. <laughs> but uh, but this, has been, this has been good. This, this second quarter has been end to end. There's been some good defensive plays by both teams. But then we're seeing some of these young ones really stepping up and trying to. You know, take the take the game on a little bit more, which is great. You know, Visor with that last play down the floor. You've got Murray, who's been more assertive. Uh, you know, Sterling is finding her way into this game. So, I've, and then you know, um, McCaffrey, you know, knocking that one down, knocking that one down for the three. So, so nice to see so many youngsters getting involved here. So that you that mix of youth has been really good for both teams right now. The veterans are doing a, a good job of holding the ship so far. Doing a very good job indeed. Margin at five, Ronnie. I suppose the next question here, though, is you did mention, you know, the veterans really holding it down, but what is that next step that needs to be taken in order to really get a stranglehold on this game? Well, right now, you would either really try and, you know, throw a small press in or really just play 90 feet or you try, or just be a little bit disruptive and go go, go with zone defence for a couple of minutes. Why not to... Have a look at a sign just to try and disrupt the other team, just out there to get them out of their flow. So that, that those could be options where you could and, and just find the find those crucial stops you need to really build a buffer. There's a nice up and down play there so far by the real fit. Greenwood foul line down to fading McCauley, Davy McCauley, whatever you want to go. That's vintage Kylie. Absolutely, you know Kylie again just working away nicely and you know finding that bucket very easily. Collins wants to go inside, wanted to get into the middle of the lane, couldn't. McCaffrey puts up a little floater, couldn't get that. Sterling margin now at three. 4.30 remaining here, second term. What has been a nice competitive game. Of course, the winner going through to play Swisher next week. Nicely inside, Demany McCaffrey doing the work. Over the top there, Aaron wants to go in on Murray, but she's barreled in, contacts there. Foul there by Davey. <laughs> And I don't think Coco's too impressed. No. She'll go to the line. She's earned that one for two. As Wallace just sauntering down here on the broadcast. Oh, it's what Emma's side. Oh, now Emma's got a, got a bit of a run on there. Yeah, she's uh, not much sauntering now. No, she gets no, the power no, walk yeah, up. Maybe she's oh, all right. Yeah, no, she's fine. Um, but I think for Coco, you know, le learning to take these hard hits from, from veterans like Ky Kylie. and She's not happy not? there. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, okay. Walla Walla not impressed there, by the way. Oh, okay. So I don't know if she's taken a knock here or she's a bit bruised or what's going not on. But she's Not sure, JB. Yeah, keep an eye on that. That's yeah, one or two will. free throws down there. Uh, uh, and just to quickly finish off my point about Coco, it's like you... I think as she progresses, and she, you know, her ceiling is so big right now, you know, I think for her to take some hard hits like that will be a good thing in the long run because, again, when you go through those high levels and the elite level, you are going to be taking some more physical bumps than anything else. And you do have to adapt. I tell you what, call your pass, yeah. though. It doesn't matter how old you are. Finney gets that one away to Davey. Yes. To Greenwood. So that's Kylie Davey off now. Reagan Davey gets the post up. Pinch passing back to Greenwood. Finlayson, long three, nails it! And that's, vintage, and that's vintage Alex Finlayson right there. We know time and time Finney can just knock down that shot when you need it the most. And on that occasion, it was well needed. So, great shot by Finney. 
30-29 as Ball trying so to do a lot. Oh, I thought that was a travel. No, nah, just kept the pivot there, but well defended. Demany wants to get inside, splits the D, keeps the dribble alive, does. McCaffrey needs to go out Ooh, herself, up doesn't matter. Drew a bit of contact on the up and under. Didn't think that was going to do anything. No. Nonetheless, good English there. Margin back to three and an M1 opportunity there for McCaffrey. Absolutely. And rocking a very bright green crop type of shot, uh, shoes there yeah, too, Yeah, definitely Joe, the low-cut shoe there. Yeah, abs absolutely. But great play by Bridie. You know, again, really good take on, the, on that play. And that's that up and under really nice finish. Team slowing down some... Margin at three, the real fit can sense an opportunity here. Can they just get on a roll at the right time? Kick out pass, Davey, Finlayson, Greenwood wanting to get through, trying to force... Nice move. Yeah, just trying yeah. to force Collins to overplay there. Did slightly, but even better finish there. Margin back to one. And that's really nice touch by Greenwood, though. Just so dominant down low. It's just shades of a, of a mum, God rest her soul. Oh, thread there. Demand you needed to go off oh. glass. Couldn't get it to go. I think Waller's very... Thankful that didn't work. Yeah, so they got they got a little bit caught out there, JB. So Oh, she's gonna go all the way. Oh, why not? She's been doing it all game, JB. <laughs> and Greenwood with the scratch. But re again, you know, Waller's not afraid to keep attacking that basket and really good to see, you know, nine times out of ten, usually that goes in for her. 33-32. So the real fit of taking the lead in this one over the sweaty Bettys. And we saw the frustration on the face of the Sweaty Bettys when they couldn't go all their way last week, Ronnie. Mm. Can we see this again? Saved there by McCaffrey. Baseline there, Demanyi needs to kick out. Does, and she's thrown it straight to the coach. Oh, da oh Danian's gone to square up from half court. Oh, I was going to say, Danian trying to do shades of Jack McVay from the weekend. Yes, well, uh, Danian a known shooter back when he was in his playing yes, days, Yes, he was, yes. Of course, I you'd remember the final that you helped, <laughs> you, you uh, refereed us. Yes. In, not helped us in. I can't say that. <laughs> I did. I mean, you did say you'd look after us. I didn't think you'd be giving us the medals at the end of the day. But thank you very much for that. Yes, no worries. Highlights of uh, <laughs> yesteryear. Absolutely. Waller shots up. No say, good. Speaking of yesteryear, him yeah, Waller trying to wind back the clock. Oh, on that shot. Aaron with an aggressive take was fouled. Bump was there. Not necessarily happy with the contact, but <laughs> tell you what, the veteran judges are certainly making them earn it right now. They are. Uh, but, again, I like the take from Coco, you know, uh, time out here from, from Daniel. But, you know, again, it's really good to see that, you know, Coco is not afraid to really, be, again, be taking these hard bumps. You know, she's finding a way. She's not allowing any kind of fear factor to come into, into anything here. So this has been a really good up, upside to, uh, to Coco's game over the past year or two. 33-32 as Dwayne Davey. Well, I know he's nestling into um, a Subway cookie by the looks, but it looks, looks like, like it. Max is down there patrolling everyone and telling them their business as well. Absolutely. There's Jack Hallett with his best 12-year-old, the best 12-year-old haircut on the planet. Yep. Looking like his younger self. I uh, don't know how that would have helped him on the no, weekend. No, I but don't know. Fair to say he would have been um, partying with Luke on the weekend as well too, I as have no doubt. As I said, they went to bed yesterday and they'll probably wake up tomorrow, on yep. the 18th. But <laughs> That's right. Two yeah. minutes to go here, Ronnie. Margin now at one here for Real Fit. When you, I mean, you look at the, this one on paper and you see the form that Sweaty Betty's have been in. Yep. Certainly not performing to the level we'd expect, but what... What do they now need to do? Because they've gone from playing on the front foot, Ronnie, to certainly playing on the back foot. But what do they need to do to, you know, to try and be the aggressor here in, in what is essentially now a defensive situation? Well, right now, if I'm Coach Daniel Sabo, I'm telling them to be, let's be more up and in on the defensive end. We have a good opportunity here where, you know, in these next two minutes, as, you know, that's not a bad look off that play. You know, but for the next two minutes right now, there's an opportunity where we can really get up and in, be aggressive, Let's not allow anything too easily from, from Greenwood or, or Waller you know, and just be, be, be assertive out there. So I mean, rather than sometimes the X's and O's of all this, as ball goes up, couldn't get that done, as it's more about, you know, just some, some of those words or terminology just to fire them up a little bit, just to see if we can find a mental edge here going into the, into the major break. Waller moving at half pace. Finlayson from three, front iron, chased her own shot. Sterling takes that. Some very rushed offensive set here for both sides out of this time out. Greenwood to Waller, who's going at half pace. Goes to bank that one. Threw it a little too hard. Ball bounded around. Sweaty Betty's get that. Take it away, they say. Runners there in ball. Collins, oh, threads the needle. Aaron deserves points, gets it. And we've got another swing in the scoreboard. Absolutely. And, again, that was a really good take. And, you know, again, they're, 
they I thought a good defensive possession there, really good transition on that play. So now you need another stop here. So you aim for about three three stops if, on your KPI here. We'll see how we go here. Real fit, you would still feel with an advantage. Long shot by Finlayson. Well, she's had three good looks at it since she's come on in this second term. Made one, that one rattles out, and the other one probably not quite there. Final 40 here. So Sweaty Betty's with an opportunity to try and extend again. Ball gets off the roll, goes up, puts up a prayer. Round the world and answers it. Yeah, lovely, lovely. You take that. It really would on those kind of rolls you do. I just think now for real fit, Getting about some good looks to see the ball hasn't gone through that hoop. So just a matter of just again now you change up a little bit. Do you look at it? Do you look at that inside presence which I think they're trying to look for or go to that midi? Nice shot there. There's Davy. Brings and it back to one. And, that, and it's vintage from Reagan. You know, she's been you know, I've known her for many, many years and she can knock down that mid-range so nicely. Collins wanting to go herself. Crooked leg, uncoordinated. Oh, 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 was never going to miss, though. There you go. Just got enough look at the window to nail it. A big shot there by Collins. Makes that a three-point ball game back in favour of Sweaty Betty's Halftime heel or rain. Semi-final action, Ronnie. Stats are about to roll in. Stats are definitely going to roll Sweaty in. And Sweaty Betty's lead this one by three. Absolutely. And, you know, Sweaty Betty's right now. Coco Aaron leading the way with 13 points. And she's 6 of 11 from the field at, at the moment. And, again, I loved how she's played this first half. Been really aggressive. And, you know, really taking the game by the scruff of the neck. Eddie Collins with, with eight on that on that buzzer beater banker. Uh, and Neve Ball with five. And then McCaffrey with, with five as well. Just taking a yawn there, Ronnie. It's, <laughs> uh, right. it's been a long day here. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the smile, Jacob. Greatly appreciate it. <laughs> all right, Jacob's been picking on me all day, all yeah. afternoon. Yeah, so. you're easy target. Oh, I know. <laughs> JC Greenwood. You, you, didn't, you didn't hear that. But good, it was a compliment, Jacob. 14 <laughs> points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists to uh, Greenwood. She's the only double-digit scorer. Murray was 6 along with... Macaulay Davy, I say Macaulay Davy, listed as Macaulay. We know her as Kylie Davy. We know her as Kylie Macaulay. But dominating Ronnie, six point seven rebounds, four assists there, four point three rebounds to Emma Waller, single digits through Finlayson and Reagan Davy. Ronnie, why do I sense you've got an update for me? You're sitting there ready to announce something. Oh, I was going to announce it. I was going to announce it on air. I just feel, it's just one of my players. That's oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's just one of my players. Just chime. He, he, well, you're not tuning in, but, he, he, but yeah. Um, fair to say, whatever he lost around here, we've found it for him. So he's happy about that. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so right now, good, good half of basketball by both teams. Both being aggressive. They're finding some good looks. You know, right now, this semi-final, it, you know, sometimes, as I, as I mentioned, you, you throw, throw out the X's and O's for a couple of minutes. Sometimes this comes down to those kind of those niche kind of just words that you are, you, you want to hear to motivate you and to drive you. Right now, for this first few minutes, you just want to go back to some good X's and O's execution-wise and really try and you know, set the foundation for, for the second half. And that's what the Sweaty Bettys want to do here by leading by three. Build on, build on some good foundations in these first few minutes and then try to make sure you, um, you know, again, be that attacker and be that aggressor. Uh, but if you're real fit right now, it's, it's again, I, I keep looking at Greenwood because Greenwood had some nice touch inside. You know, I'd love to see Waller just find that, um, that end part of the net um, because she's got some good looks as well too. And then, you know, I'd love to see Murray get a few more shots up. So, Good second half coming up. You are tuning into the Tassie Summer Slam, and of course, Tassie Summer Slam for 2023 brought to you live by Live Eat, healthy eating the fast way, the right way. Get in to Live Eat today, and of course, our broadcast sponsor for the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam Women's Semi Final Round is brought to you by Total Denture Care Clinics. Andrew Tristy and the team love nothing more than to keep your smile shining. So see them today at one of their locations in Kingston, Sorrell, or Newtown for all your dental denture care needs. Thirty-eight, thirty-seven is the uh, real fit. Bring it back to one. Yes. And Sweaty Betty's now instantly looking to extend. Yes. Yeah, sorry, we all got distracted there, Bar. Oh, Jake. nothing Jake. but net. Get about it. <laughs> Beautiful free throws. That was a great free throw there by Lauren Mills. Oh, what have we done to her, though? Oh, Nothing. rattles too far. Nothing. Too far. 
beautiful. There we go. The, the curse has finally swung round. I'll tell you what, Ronnie, there's nothing better than fundamental basketball, and one of them is making your free throws. Absolutely. It's something we preach to the kids every single day, JB. Oh, I'm a minimum requirement of a big guy to be 7 out of 10 and a guard 8 out of 10, Ronnie. I'm a hard judge. Yes, that's, that, that is correct. I'm a 4 out of 10 personally, but I don't play. Oh, through the hands of Visor, who loses it in the low block, turning the other way. And I hear that we have a celebrity in the crowd Friday night, Ronnie. Is this true? Yes, I can't tell you that it'll be Shana. I'm not allowed to say anything. All oh, right. <laughs> so you don't know Shana's going to be here, okay? Still working on a mixtape, by the way. <laughs> yep, at this point, the WNBL, she needs it. 40-37. <laughs> sure, that's what she's fanging oh, out for. I have not had a chance to get round to it. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Shana. Hello. The government supervisors have turned up for the uh, stats. I was going to say, is that mum coming into uh, to her? Yeah, just keeping the boys in check. That's the way. Good to see. We just need one of Jacob's parents to come in now, and that, that all that would be lovely. Yeah, trust yes. me. We're, our our folks, our, better, our folks and family, tried to control us. It doesn't work. Correct. 42-37, margin at five, and all of a sudden, just a bit of a stagnant spot here for the real fit. Ronnie is absolutely just being thrown out of kilter offensively. Yeah. Just get. I mean, good deed there, yeah. and there it is. It's the defence at the top that forces that Aaron yeah, pass. Yeah, it does. And nice threat over the top by Collins. Oh, just a little bit high there. Visor gets lucky on yeah. a rebound. Can ball make? Looks good. Yeah. It's good. There you go. Damn. Margin and, at eight. And I feel like they've set the foundation here. Now now they re really want to try and now take it by the scruff of the neck and really you know, build this lead. Yeah, eight-point margin. We'll see how this goes. Murray on the drive. Couldn't get it to go. Aaron... Gets out on the skates, and is she just going to be there enough? She is. Scores. Margin at 10. Yeah, time, time out? Yeah, yeah Matt Bennell has seen enough. That margin is at 10. Nails it there. And that's exactly what we've been seeing from the Sweaty Bettys for the last few weeks, and they've been able to tune it up once again. Yeah, they transit. They, you know, they get they get some good they get some good stops defensively, and then their running game is fantastic. Coco on the on the run there has been has been good. So now out to 10, as I mentioned. You, know, you build your foundation in these first couple of minutes. Now you tr now you try and really go up another notch. So that's what it's going to be for for the Sweaty Betties right now is to keep building on that momentum um, and what they've built already, which I think has been fantastic. Right now, if you're if you're real fit, it's more the defensive end and how do we how do we stop these kind of things happening? Yeah. So I think they need to just change up their offense a little bit and try and make sure that they. You know, keep moving that ball around, and yep, yeah, <laughs> we'll put it. We'll put the attention on the boy. <laughs> oh, oh no! Yeah. Oh my goodness! We'll give you a shout out, don't worry, mate. Jesus, we yeah, Peter yeah. in the better half are walking out of the building, and Maxie, Max Davy has just cracked this poor bloke in the back. Dwayne has yeah. not flinched. No, Jeez, that's unbelievable. And you think? Uh, uh, Did we get that on? Oh, yeah, we got that on tape. I don't know if we got all of it on tape. Uh, that's just. We'll need to review. We'll need to review vision. Jeez, we've oh, never had a. We ever had a have we ever had a, an eight-year-old tossed out of a basketball game, Ronnie? I don't think so. No, no, not in my time, JB. Jeez. The, 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 He's a fair job, dude. <laughs> and the old kidney punch. Uh, you can't be doing that. <laughs> Jesus. Idle and Aaron's on the scene a little too late for this one. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Margin at 10. Well, we've seen it all here tonight, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That's unbelievable. King hit in the kidneys from the eight-year-old. Absolutely. We'll and uh, Dad and Mum didn't flinch a muscle. Jeez, we'll, we'll make sure that Attorney Lionel Hutz will be coming in to defend, yes, the, old, defend him. Old J.C. Cornett, old Stephen <laughs> P. New might get a bit, of a bit of a run. Back iron there from Greenwood, no good. Visor fighting for the rebound there, hits the deck. Nice feed inside, two loop-de-loop -loop from Waller. Sterling goes to dribble out. All stuck around the box, though. They need to get rid yeah. of it. They do. Waller needs to throw it up. Not bad. Oh, I thought that was good. Rattles off glass. Thankfully, that wasn't a highlight of the game, JB, where Max has run on court. So. I'd be really concerned if a child <laughs> clobbering someone in the kidneys was the highlight of this I game. I was going to say, we've seen more highlights on the court, thankfully. So that one stripped away there. Aaron probably wanted a foul. Goes out of bounds. Finlayson heads in. 
What strange circumstances of event. We won to give the boy a shout out. Well, no, he's just gone and king hit somebody. King right great. in the kidneys, and Dad didn't flinch a muscle. Now, in saying that, I must give credit to Max here because we are writing him off a little bit. <laughs> They were just playing around. It's just not a great look when no, all you see is a little kid run up yes, and a crack. Cor correct, and yeah, we were just audible crack. Trying to give give the young. Oh, I'll oh, tell you what, he's there. Served, you go. Deserved deserved buckets. Points. Good pass there by Collins. Good reception. Aaron just overcooked it on that one there, JB. Yeah, just couldn't get anything out of it. Six fifteen remaining here, third term. Tassie Summer Slam semi final women's competition. Of course, the Summer League on Chargers TV. Ronnie JB, Jacob, and a sort. Shot there by Davey, no good. Rebound there as Murray jumping around left, right and centre. Couldn't get a thing. And that's a reach in there by Waller, who doesn't mind a bit of physical play, mind you. Loop to loop pass. Ball. Visor wants to go inside. Travel. It took too many steps too yeah. early. Just put that shot straight up. Yep. And the travel there. So, yes, just getting a little bit excited. McCaffrey heading into the game as well as Demany. Both players having good contributions so far as Aaron and Visor will go for a spell. And apparently I really was not. Chana said, you, you not, don't tell Ronnie. So, Chana, I won't tell him. It's fine. <laughs> Ronnie doesn't know that you're going to be here. Neither, wanna, neither do the dozens listening at home. Does she want a half-time interview or something? I, I think that's the point of you not knowing. She does not want a half-time interview. Oh, we God. wouldn't be able to anyway. Well, no, no. Do we have to go through certain avenues? Ab so, uh, yes, uh, yes. We would. Te we would. <laughs> Technically, we would. Te yeah, yeah, no, no. You, you're spot on, Joe. So you are safe, Shana. You can hide away in the corner as much as you like. But no, she will be in the building here for our grand final. And at the moment, it looks like the Sweaty Bettys will be playing Swisher in that I one there. So. Collins. Oh! I, uh, Knock I, it down. I think they're trying to book their ticket for Friday night, Jobo. They're really up the ante in this third quarter. Just on both ends of the floor, they've done a terrific job here on a defensive end, limiting the shots and the touches of the uh, real fit team here. Again, again, inside Waller by Waller. Couldn't get that to go. Oh, battle for the rebounds there. Finn Lason feeds inside to Murray. Greenwood intercepts that half. Waller goes around Greenwood again. Finn Lason inside. Mills nearly overplays on Davey, who's got a bit of an off arm and a bit of a bow straight into the ribs of Mills. Shot by Greenwood's good. And that's a, that's a good that's a good kind of you know make up there. I thought if um, if if uh, Sweaty Betty's got the O board on that possession, that would have been a good defensive phase. Um, sorry. Oh, but now I tell you, what, lucky that was a slip. Collins nearly with the double dribble. Mm. Ball for three. Couldn't get it to go. Deflected. McCaffrey just needs to turn. Score with a left and does. Yeah, see, so just a breakdown there on the defensive end. No one there for a rebound and easy as you like there for, for Brighty. So it's just in the floor again that, you know, Sweetie Betty's need to, you know, again, make, make, those, make real fit force those shots from outside, which they've been doing a good job of. It's just been the rebounding that they need to get a top on. I'll tell you what, a casual dump down pass there. Green will make him pay from both sides of the floor. And this is where the veterans are really just starting to chime in now. Getting those, getting those rebounds, good kick outs, some nice mid-range shots. Back to 11 hour margin here, JB. And all of a sudden, unless... Ow! Unless... Ow! <laughs> Collins knocks down that three. Then the game, now, now the game is back out to where, where it is. That was a long way away, that one there. Margin at 14. 3.30 remaining here in the third term. I won't say that too quickly. It's Greenwood wanting to get inside. Hand off McCauley. Greenwood the hot hand here right now. I'm surprised they're not using her more. Deflected there by Mills. It's Greenwood reaches in. Collins, ball fake. As Demany saves. Out to ball for three. Oh, I was going to count it. As Waller will take away, and you would think an easy two here for Waller if she just goes herself, does. Oh, oh no. Oh, dear. Oh, just, boy. I just feel like... It, it, What's going on there? I just feel like in this game, let alone, she's just, you know, it, it's been good seeing her to her to old self in most ways, but just the finish at the rim has just been not there tonight. I've loved every other part of Emma's game tonight. It's just been that finish at the rim it's just unfortunate that it just hasn't gone the, uh, the other way for him. Visor looking to get back into this one. I wonder whether we'll see Aaron return as well. Thread the needle. Mill short corner. Couldn't get it to go. Finn Lason 
Goes over the top there to Greenwood. Has support. Goes to Murray. Ball didn't hit the floor. Nice movement. Yeah, good tra good transition offense there by the uh, real uh, real fit team. Still at 12, though, so again, they have to get stops here defensively. Collins wanting to create space down to oh, Mills, who's open. Wants to go up strong, draws a contact and gets it. Yeah, good good finish there. So 57-43, 2.20 remaining in the third term. Low foul count in this one, which has allowed the quarter to go through. Murray upstairs gets that to go. So still trading baskets here, margin at 12. They're by no means out of it, Ronnie, but it's that little hump they just can't get over. Uh, it's, it was that first three minutes of this quarter that really set up, you know, uh, Sweaty Betty's to be in a commanding buffer position, and they and they've stick true to that as much as the real fit have had a nice little green patch in this last two minutes. Oh, blocked by Murray from behind there, floated by McCaffrey, no good. Continuing to take away here. I don't think Daniel liked that look on the offensive end too, just by the look of him on that possession. No, they probably oh Finlayson oh, long too, but. It was probably the hesitation, Ronnie, because there was a wide open gap to take and chose not to. Mm. Yes, I would have had that extra pass, I reckon. Margin at 10. Ben will get really intense on the sideline. And that'll be a foul by... And they want to... Do they want to <laughs> score? No. I think that'll be on the floor. Yeah, definitely on the floor. As I just thought I'd Kylie had to approach. hold it back at some point. <laughs> As Visor will come back into the game with an instant stitch almost. And Jesus. Aaron heads in. So Mills after the foul gets a spell. So does Ball Greenwood. Nice hot hand here in the third. She'll take a break as well. So important possession here if you're, if you're the sweaty Betty's. Just to keep that double digit buffer. But oh, that's a poor pass on the execution. So we'll see what the transition is. See what Finney does here, JB. Is, kick, yep, out. kick out. Murray, hesitation on the drive. Finds a gap. Pass. Dumped down. Davy stays long home and gets paid and, and, for the points. And that's good, good vision by Murray. Notice the defence was sucking right into her. There was that opportunity for the uh, pocket pass. Beautiful finish by Davey. Margin is at eight. Oh, handles there by Aaron. Trying to be smooth. Kick Ooh, out. Nice. Shot there for Visor. Takes it. Couldn't get it to go that time. Better op offensive look. Murray slowing down. 45 seconds remaining of the third term. Finlayson wants support. So the real fit are certainly back within touching distance here. Trying to go through sets. Inside, kick out, pass, long two, Finlayson. Couldn't get it to go. Aaron with the rebound, 30 seconds here in the third. And a foul on Waller. So the check there, and some of the Utah's girls are getting ready to exit again after loitering with the crowd. Matty Stratton's birthday on the weekend, as we saw. Sterling back yes. in. Waller will take a spell. Max down there trying to comfort everybody. Hey, you're getting about everybody. Good on him. After he... Oh, he's taking people out. High five, Pete. High hey, five. He's providing drinks for everybody. This is unbelievable. Good he, on him. He's going to be a character when he gets older, Charlie. When he gets older, he already is running. <laughs> Collins misses that one. Fouled on the second opportunity. He'll go to the line. I think this is that. That's the Max Davey we're going to be seeing and knowing and calling for throughout throughout over the next few years. Yeah, another. At least another 30 years of it, Ronnie. Absolutely. Jesus, JB will be 57 when that's going <laughs> on. God, <laughs> I already feel old. What are you telling me? I'll be in my 60s by then. <laughs> <laughs> Sucked in. <laughs> Jesus, it will be Stadler reward off at that point, oh, will won't it? <laughs> yeah. Two or two yes. there. Collins nails. Substitution. Waller goes in. Jeez, oh, 30 years. <laughs> God, compounding interest. I'll be over. But I'll, I'll call it a day by then, I reckon. No, he'll be in his... Jake will be in his 40s by then. Yeah, but he'll I'm be in Hollywood, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you and I will be at Warren. In fact, yeah. probably, you, probably <laughs> you. Based on the funding, we'll be using the same gear, too. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, jeez. I know. And that one doesn't... Three quarters time. That one doesn't drop. The fun and frivolity continues here on Chargers TV. 49-59. Sweaty Betty's lead this one by 10. They look like they're going to be heading through at this stage to the grand final on Friday. But you can't rule out the real fit, Ronnie. Brought to you by Live Eat and, of course, our broadcast sponsor, Total Denture Care Clinics. Well, I thought in that, that last couple of minutes, you know, real fit kind of fighting their way back. Ben all's up and about. He's getting really intense into the game as a coach. So you just feel like there's some momentum just trying to swing back to the real fit. But Sweaty Betty's have done a good job here to keep this 10-point buffer. And right now, they are in, definitely in the box seat. 
And speaking of box scores, Ellie Collins leading away with 18 points. She's well, she's two of five from deep, six of 13 from the field. Next best, Coco Aaron again, who, which I'm, I've been loving her game tonight. 15 points and seven of 14 from the field. That so it's 50%. Uh, and need ball there with eight points there to uh, for the top three. So, as uh, Holly Nash makes her way out yes. after uh, Hi, after babysitting down there for uh, Team yeah. Swisher in game one. Okay. I didn't hear a word you said, but sounds good. No, no, she she's um, wanting to start a babysitting business, JB. I'll well, tell you what, bring him to the basketball, and Holly will be taking Absolutely. the lead. Absolutely. Im- quick- invoices will be in the bar. Quickly here for the real fit there. Josie Greenwood leading the way, 18 and 5 with four assists, 12 and 4 for Claire Murray with two assists, and Kylie Davy continuing to get it done. Six points, nine rebounds, seven assists. So she's going to get done on triple double alert as yeah, well. She, yeah, I don't know. I think, you know, for where this game's still at. Kylie's still playing her role and doing a really good job for the team. So right now she just needs a few more others just to step up in, in a couple of other departments. But, again, we can't rule real fit out. Like I said, I felt like the last two minutes of that quarter they were really trying to get back in this ball game. But the Sweaty Betties have done a good job here just maintaining some composure and keeping that 10-point lead. Final quarter underway here thanks to Louvite. That's healthy eating the fast way, the right way, getting to Louvite today. And, of course... It wouldn't be possible. That's our broadcast, of course, ladies and gentlemen, without our, our broadcast sponsor for the 2023 Summer Tassie Summer Slam Women's Semi-Final Action, and that is Total Denture, Clare Clinic, Total Denture Care Clinics. Andrew Tristy and the team love nothing more than to keep your smile shining. So see them today at one of their locations in Kingston, Sorrell, or Newtown for all your denture care needs. 30 seconds gone here in the fourth quarter. Winner through the grand final against Swisher. Sweaty Betty's have the form, real fit. Have the fight and the hunger. Murray wanted to get that to go. Couldn't. Rebound by Mills who fights through. Gets sandwiched. I was going to say Sterling come in there. Second best. So that's an obvious foul right there. And they continue to plug away. Oh, Murray trying to sneak through. Thought she'd got away with one. Oh, no. It's clear Murray's at the smile. I think she might have got away I with one there. I think she got away with one there. That's hey. just a good heads up, little tricky kind of play got there. Win, just win by forcing, any means. Yeah, forcing the referees to make a call. Win by any means necessary. Yeah. As, uh, <laughs> the boys wanted a replay on that one. The boys did want a replay, and they got the old crooked figure from Billy Bowden. Absolutely. Mine wasn't indexed, though, as uh, Davey loses that and just holds up her swearing to ball on the drive, wants to go herself, oh. threaded the needle, and she found the back of the uh, thimble. Yes. Thread the needle on again. Well, it's going to be... A t- someone grab the basketball. <laughs> Jeez. Well, this is not this is not classic catches, Joe, but that's t- for sure. No, it's not. <laughs> Just grab the basketball. Yeah, you've got you to grab it. But, jeez, yeah. uh, fundamentals, please. Reagan Davy give Who me not? a courtesy laugh on the bench. Who, Jesus. <laughs> 59-39. Yeah. Collins. Oh, that's flat. Well, I tell you what, get the Windex on the glass there to clean it up. Outlet pass. Greenwood, Sterling, support, Waller, high arcing, who now needs to dribble out. Has Murray open. 45, doesn't look too bad, just wasn't that good. Rebound by Mills. As Sweaty Betty's go over the top there. Visor goes to settle. Needed a kick pass. Everyone was over sets of hands. Greenwood on the break once again. Oh, go all the way, Josie. Was fouled. will go to the line for two. Good intent there by Greenwood. Yeah, no, good take by, by Joe there. She, um, again, just being aggressive at the rim. And like I say, it's a nice little change up from her, you know, from the inside game we've been seeing um, to now just on that nice run there. Really good athleticism by Josie on that play. As Reagan Davey looking to check back in. As Greenwood knocks down the first. Shout out to the Dahl who's tuning in. Oh, good. Uh, oh, yes. Not that well. Oh, I don't know if she's tuning in. Uh, get out to the, 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 to hello, the Dahl. Hello, Sarah. She makes that one there. Have you got any more um, um, vanilla slices or oh, anything geez, like that I tell, I, Well, I tell you what, Ronnie, I certainly will by uh, <laughs> Friday night. It's going to need to be a lot because it's going to have to last me a trip over to Burnie, a trip down to Queenstown, and a trip back to Hobart in around three days. Yes. So you want the kilometres there, JB. Absolutely. Racking them up. No frequent flyer miles. Visor no. dribbles out of trouble. Colin splits the defence. Fades down the lane. Back iron, no good. Mills, second opportunity. Was probably fouled. Walked through it, though. Margin at eight. Finlayson is definitely trapped. And that'll be a travelling violation. I think Finlayson wanted a call. Well, I think she 
I think there was contact there, but mm, might, might not have been enough for a foul. No, absolutely not. Waller's going to have to be tough defensively here. And that is a triple team that Mills wants to fight through. We'll get the whistle and go to the line. Well, just by looking at that triple team and then the height comparison, JB, that's... Uh, yeah, it was like watching yeah. our Wemby try and compete yes. with the Spurs. Yes, absolutely. Jeez. He's, uh, yes, absolutely. Um, he's certainly shown a bit of form here and there throughout the NBA season. Yes. 7-4, uncoordinated 19-year-old. Yes. What more, what more can you do in the, uh, in the association? Well, that's <laughs> it. Well, Mills has gone from perfect free throws to not making a free throw. So this is an absolute swing of events. Yes. And it's only eight points, Shobo. Dumped down over the back. Save there. Greenwood wants to go inside. Does eventually. Spinning round. Corner. Davey. Kick out. Finlayson. Three. Oh! oh yes, sir. Finney from downtown. Makes that, it a... that looked good off the hand, too. Absolutely. Five points the margin. And we knew it was going to be a barn burner. It was a matter of who's going to get it done. Absolutely. Back to five here. Collins, kick out. Ball, not too bad. Just not quite good enough as Aaron trying to climb the tree. Waller with the rebound, running the floor. Has an open lane. Wants to go herself. Does. Ah, and just Mills, just them long arms on the rebound. Yeah. Aaron wanting to go herself to Ball, who nearly loses it. Save, kick pass. Oh, Finlayson, Finney. the hustle. She's got an open court. Get that ball, Finney. Oh, she needs to. Needs to get it in oh, to Murray. Gosh. The ball fake to Murray. Oh, oh get out of there, says Visor. Jeez. Everyone fighting for it there. Whole lot of nothing, Ronnie. A Absolutely. whole lot of nothing. I should, Finney should have just took the shot. Jeez, well, I tell you what, it was deflected out wide. That's Greenwood oh, threads nice down pass. to Murray, who wants to go baseline. Needs support. Finlayson, she takes it now. Oh. Couldn't get it to go. Yep. Oh, nice turn. Oh, nice. Greenwood. Just really, really settled. Good pivot turn. Great shot. And we're back to three points, JB. Margin is at three, Ronnie. You are tuning in to the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam semi-final of the women's action here. 59-56. Sweaty Betty's the informed team of the two. But as we mentioned, Ronnie, with a real fit, you just cannot rule them out. And right now, they are showing why they are certainly up and about in this competition. Started to hit their straps over the last few weeks. And all of a sudden, they have uh, the team that I thought may finish second. Certainly uh, certainly may end up being third place here, of course, to Sarah McCauley, who's tuning in. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, both the men's and women's game will be on Friday night. Yeah. Women are at 6.30, men at 8. Yes. And, yes, I can confirm that your 12-year-old nephew, Jack, will be playing in the 8 o'clock game there for Team Swisher. Yes, he will He will be. I'm sure he's... And he'll, now, he'll probably be demanding a medal as well, too, if Team Swisher get up. I'm not sure if the commissioner sort out medals and whatnot, as Max gives us the thumbs up. Um, he hasn't. As a, the, no, no one was assaulted in the crossing of the court. This <laughs> oh, thank, good, thank goodness. Um, yeah, I don't actually... Do you know what? I don't know what the awards look like. I, I don't, don't know. We I haven't, haven't been a, given a run sheet. I haven't heard <laughs> anything. That's some, there's something for me to chase up this week to the commissioner and um, yeah, just find out what the go is. Uh, yeah, we... Uh, president, are we doing presentations? Are we uh, are we giving a trophy? Are we giving a check? A are check? We, are we play, are we playing for money? I don't know, Joe. This isn't the. These NBA. are things we need to know. Millionaires aren't becoming millionaires again, Ronnie. This isn't the NBA in season tournament. Correct. Congratulations to the LA Lakers, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I'll make I'll find make sure you find somewhere the sun doesn't shine to put that opinion. <laughs> oh, please. Glorified chip and dip bowl. Shot didn't go down there by Aaron, taken away by Greenwood. I can't believe you've said that. <laughs> God. As Waller goes herself, foul will go to the line for two. This one is intense, which is interesting, Ronnie, because it, yeah. it's a shame the crowd isn't here to see the intensity of this game. We are glad everyone's following along at home. I think, you know, when you're watching it, you know, in venue, you can you can see see the players really trying to you know they grind this out. This is not this is nothing, um, no walk in the park. This is both teams grinding it out. A real fit, a real fit have done a great job of coming back into this ball game, and I think for the viewers at home, they're getting a they're getting a good game uh, of viewing right now on their hands. Indeed, pass there. McCaffrey wants to go in, stripped by Murray off the feet. Greenwood's got a break. 
They're chasing hard though. Josie goes inside, wants to spin. Fakes goes up, was probably bodied. Battering that ball around, Mills gets it over to Erin. Waller's going to contest her, goes up, strips, and that'll be off Erin's hands. Defence by Waller. Yeah, good defensive play by Waller. I really felt like on the offence in possession, though, Greenwood should have spun the other way rather than going back to her right, go back to her left and, and finish on the left on that one. We'll see how this one pans out. Waller wants to get inside. Two-point margin. We've still got five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. This is good. Inside Ooh. there. Oh, Davey probably got a spare bit of space. It was enough to get a tie ball game up. 59 apiece for both sides. I, uh, she, uh, yeah, I think there might have been just some slight getaway there on that one. I think so as well. Aaron for the response. Back iron. Murray rebound. And what I meant by that, folks, I think she got away with one down, down the other end. Yeah, and it doesn't matter that you're in the, the circle there, Ronnie. If it's an illegal movement, it's still an offensive foul. Oh, Absolutely. Murray's got an open oh, Murray. Look. All of a sudden. They've taken a the lead, JB. Real fit have the lead. This is some sort of fight back Oh, there. thread the needle, Collins. Oh, good grief. Aaron couldn't get that to go. And we still have four minutes. And Murray's got an open lane. She's just going to turn and score. Timeout Time Time out by Daniel Saville. It's falling apart for the sweaty Bettys as the real fit lead by four. Just that. Oh, you, boy. And it's just all of a sudden this game has just turned. And it's just a couple of defensive breakdowns. And it's, that's a big momentum swing for real fit right now. You know, again, good timeout by Daniel Saville. Really good timeout. This is where they just need to uh, calm the troops, calm the troops down, get into some good sets here, and then defensively, let's be a bit more aware of, of the inside presence of Greenwood because she's been she's been going strong. You know, you really want to be up and in on Waller a little bit because she's trying to create a little bit, and then Murray is finding her way through as Jordan Walker misses that shot. So four points here right now. This has been a great fight back by by, uh, by um, Real Fit. They've done a fantastic job of just weathering the storm. Now they've found, they've found their niche, got good stops, good transition, and some good and some good looks. Now all of a sudden, it's it's back in the in the ball court of the Sweaty Betty's. So for the Real Fit here. They have 4.18 to maintain a lead for the Sweaty Bettys. Sixty-three fifty-nine. Let's see what can get done. Four points. It's been a physical game so far, and I don't think it's going to change. Can the Sweaty Bettys adjust? Visor, give and go, down low to Erin, who pulls up. Oh, oh, out of here by Greenwood! Get that out of here. As Greenwood, oh, she rolls inside and scores. She started the play. She finished the She's play, JB. Sensational. She started this run in the third term with her mid-range jumpers. And all of a sudden, they just need to settle. Margin at six. The momentum is just keep on, oh, keep on. It's Finney. Finney knocks one down. So this game has just swung in the space of minutes. You just, again, you just want a good set here for you to Sweaty Betty's. Crazy stuff. Collins the response. Oh! There we go. That's a much better set. Kind of good inside, outside kind of kick. Much better possession there from the Sweaty Betty's. Back within five. They will not stop. Oh, Walla. She won the foul. But... No, referees didn't see it that way. Collins on the run here. She's going to work. Oh, good hands by Finney. Jump ball. ball. Goes to Sweaty Betty's way. So crucial, crucial right now to get a score on this possession. You can't can't have the ring have a have glad wrap on her right now. God no. Oh yeah, they just oh they Oh Murray's gonna go all the way! Rain. Oh, well, Visor out. rides the hip, oh, foul. and that was a foul. Good foul there by Kendra. Yeah, Kendra just had fit. to commit it. Had yeah. the hand on the hip and over yeah. the arm. And in those, in those situations, you got a foul. Put them to the line. Try and kill whatever momentum they've still got left. Because right now, you want to try and find yourself in a position right here where you've got to quickly try and 
and gather your momentum back here. Yes. First one's good there for Murray. But these are crucial free throws as well too. You know, Murray's got a, you know, again, clutch down the stretch here is, well, one or two there. 62-68, so margin at six. We've got two and a half to play in this one. Yep. Collins is going to go herself as Finn Lason goes to take away. Aaron for three. Oh! oh! Woohoo! We've got another ball game, Ronnie. Back to three. And, th and that was good. Good decision by Collins to kick that one out. I just... Don't go, don't go into a situation where you have to play isolation ball to be the hero. Get that ball moving, find the right look. 65-68. Real fit had the lead by as much as six. Greenwood's been huge, huge. though. And she keeps dominating. And it's from one big shot to another big shot. That mid-range, quite good for Greenwood and great knockdown. Again, Sweetie Beatty's have to score. Ball for the response. Oh, oh, no! Why not? It is a party of training shots down here, JB. They have just started hitting everything. Boy, oh boy. Back to two points. You've got to get a stop here now if you're the Sweaty Bettys. What oh, can they do? Finlayson, oh, Mills. Just couldn't get the roll. Rebound, ball. They're going to be up defensively here. 90 yep. or so seconds. So crucial here to get a score. Just got to get a quick two will be fine. Collins oh, dumped down. Mills fouled. Yep, good Finlayson play. reaching will go to the line for two. That's a good play. Again, good poise, good recognition by Mills there to cut through. Good pocket pass. And now Mills has an opportunity to tie it away at 70. Let's see what can go. Oh, the commissioner's um, message. For, okay. What cool. did the commissioner say? We found out some as Mills knocks that one down. Awards. Okay, are we allowed to broadcast them now, or is that Friday? Uh, well, he's just named the um, the uh, named the awards. Hasn't named actual players. And Rattles goes, out. Goes one or two. We'll Jeez. mention that. At, we'll mention at the end of the broadcast. Seventy to sixty nine. Big screen. That Finlayson. is a massive screen. Aaron hits the deck. Murray going herself. Still going herself. Murray dumped down. Davy above the circle. Oh, Greenwood dominating. Still couldn't oh, get that to short. go. Margin at one. Mills just gets it off yeah. before a travel. Crucial now here for the Sweaty Betties to get a, get a score. Collins herself inside to Mills oh, who great scores. Play. Great play. Really good utilisation of the height there and good finish. 71-60. One point ball game, a minute to go. Waller wanting to go herself. Ridden on the hip there. Give off Greenwood. Kick out. Finlayson. Guarded by Visor. Goes back to Greenwood. Eight seconds on the shot. What can Murray do here? Uses the screen. Finlayson gets inside, long oh, two. Oh, oh, <laughs> score! Vintage, vintage Alex Finlayson right there. And we've got a reaching foul on Waller. 29.5 remaining. Only the uh, fourth team, JB, so next one's, at the, next one's at the line. Timeout, 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 timeout. Unbelievable stuff, 72-71. I tell you what, Ronnie. Oh, my goodness. This is the women's game Whoa, of the season. Yeah, the, the boys are getting too excited there. This then. is why we sit on the seat of the chair and not the back of the chair, boys. Didn't you learn mm. this in school? Jesus. Look, if his, the one with the arms, too, if you'd like to just... <laughs> <laughs> now, now, just quickly... the get jobbed. <laughs> now, just quickly, the commissioner sent through the name of the awards, not, not, uh, necessar uh, not necessarily who's won them. So he's got the GOAT, which is the best player. No. Um, but Bucket, which is most points. But Thief, which is steals. But Sniper, threes. But Glass Cleaner, rebounds. But Swatter, blocks. But Dimer, assists. But Future, the rising star. So they are the uh, name of the awards, JB. We'll know more Friday night on who shall receive them in both categories, in both men's and women's, sorry. Yes, they will get totals of stats up and down here. So 29.5 remaining. So Dan Sapple short over play, so he's going to advance the ball here. So, so shot clock will be at 14 here. Not deciding to take any any risks here as far as bring the ball up and, and whatnot. We'll advance it. And it looks like a bit of a stack play here or line play but here, what they're the going thing, to try to run. 14 seconds, Ronnie. They need to use all of them. Absolutely. And Ronnie. the other thing is score. See what happens. Collins high post. Doubled, tripled almost. Visor. Aaron. Ball fake. 
Inside, riding the bump. Scores! Oh, oh, what a play! Good grief! Just a great execution on the play. Aaron goes up. Nothing but net. And all of a sudden, what, it, what, ha, what has Real Fit got up their sleeve? The real question is, Ronnie, do you use the whole clock or do you advance the ball? Because if you use the whole floor, you get a full 20 second, Twenty, The full 20 seconds. seconds. You advance it, then you lose six. If you do that, do you run the risk of going right? We need, to go, we need to get a shot up within 10 and get a second look at it. I don't know. There's a lot. The rebounding presence here is still... I would still favour Greenwood and Davey to be getting a rebound here. But at the moment, the person I also want taking this game-winning shot there is Josie Greenwood because she has been on fire offensively in the second half. Absolutely. I think you need to look at a play for her. Now, probably the first question I'd, I'd make to, to the playing group would have been, do you want the ball from the baseline or do you want me to advance it? Do you want the get clock? The player feel, get the player feel because the players will know what they need to and do well, out there. At the end of the day, they're the ones that have to run it. You can draw Absolutely. it up all you want, but if they sit there and go, well, you're not giving us enough time, Correct. it doesn't matter. That, yeah, that's right, JB. So that would have been my first initial thought. Then the next thought is, okay, what player have we got to run? Now, usually throughout the season, the team's all training and you'd go through last-second situations. In this competition, I do not believe the teams do train. They're seeing the floor. So um, we'll see how this one pans out as far as, well, now they're going to, yep, they made a good, I think this is a good decision, JB. Try and utilise the whole clock and go for the win. Jeez, and they're double teaming on the inbound there yeah, so with Waller. That's not a bad move, That's JB. a very smart move. But they're confident for Finlayson. Needs to get the ball in. Goes Let's over see. the top. Yep, Murray, Murray retrieves. We've got a full court. Greenwood now ball handling to, to Waller. 15 seconds. This one needs to play out. Winner plays Swisher. Waller. Davey. Give and go. Murray wanted to square up. She gets another chance. Needed to get rid of it. Greenwood for the win. Couldn't oh. get it to go. And that'll do it. it. That'll do it. Edge of your seat stuff. Absolutely. And the sweaty Bettys by a point. It's one of the games of the season. The game of the season by far. In the women's comp at least, as far as a backwards and... I tell you what, across both comps, as far as a backwards and forwards game of basketball, and they, and they were that was it. They were down by double digits as well too, JB. As Walker... <laughs> Walker knocks that one down. On that film. <laughs> on film. I don't know if we got the full thing on film. Yeah, there. we did. Oh, just we did? Oh, no. Don't cut, oh, if he cuts that up, we'll, we'll invoice him. But uh, see, what a sensational game. Sensational game um, of basketball, right? Let's have a look at the stats here as the lads come in. Thanks, yeah, well, why not? Jeez. Edgy estate stuff there. The winner's there by one, Ronnie. The sweaty betties, and you got the numbers. Yeah, I do. Ellie Collins leaned away with 21 points, uh, 7 to 16 from the field for Ellie. Coco Aaron with 20 points, and that 20th point being that game winner, or that go-ahead bucket, we'll all say it's a game winner. Uh, 9 of 20 from the field, only 1 of 5 from deep. But certainly, uh, just having a look here, five, uh, no, four, just the six rebounds there as well too. So that was a good job. And then Nee Ball had 11, and she came up trumps with a, uh, with a clutch shot of her own as well too. Other side of things here, Ronnie, Josie Greenwood, superstar as we mentioned in this game. 26 points, eight rebounds, five assists, two block shots. You had 17 to Claire Murray with six rebounds and three assists. You had 12 points, six rebounds, two steals, to go as well with Finlayson as McCauley slash Davey. You know who she is. Six points, ten rebounds, seven assists. She got on the edge of a triple-double, six and seven to Reagan Davey. Fellas, well done on the stats once again. Thanks to Mum for the security blanket for the first <laughs> yeah, day to yeah. touch the chair when A over T yeah, again. absolutely. But yeah. we have got a grand final matchup, Ronnie, on Friday. The oh, Sweaty yes. Betties and Swisher. And, I mean, overall, when we look at it, it probably is going to be Team 1 versus Team 2. But you couldn't have asked for a better game of basketball from go to woe, Ronnie, probably the best we've had all season. Of course, we saw the big run by the Utah's men to get over Swisher there at one point earlier in the year where they were down by 20-odd. And, of course, Isaac Collins hits the absolute game winner there. But from a backwards and forwards style of game, cannot fault the way that contest went. An epic contest there. Absolutely. And and as we mentioned... Emma Waller, I don't know whether she's sore or upset or what's going I'm on there. Not, but I'm not entirely sure, JB. She would be fairly upset. They tried their absolute backsides off there. The real fit nearly pulled off the miracle. Oh, they worked their way back into that ball game nicely. It was just that middle pa that, that starting patch of the third quarter 
where the Sweaty Betty's really set up the foundation to get a really good lead. And then just a little, I think just a, bit of, a little bit of fatigue and, and just some, some poor turnovers just, co- just cost them a little bit and then real fit, real fit make their run. And that does set, a, set us up for a crack of a finish. And the last play was a good look by Greenwood. Just a little bit overcooked. I thought she had a nice look at that. It looked very good. I think Murray was trying to look for look for a three there, I think, in that play. But, again, good, good close out defensively. And then that extra option, Greenwood, good good look. Unfortunate that didn't go in. But that was one hell of a game. So, ladies and gentlemen, grand final uh, broadcast of the Tassie Summer Slam on Chargers TV for 2023 will be this Friday night at 6.30 p.m. It will be Swisher taking on the Sweaty Bettys in the women's comp. Meanwhile, in our men's action, it will be Utaz and Swisher. That'll be my last broadcast for 2023, ladies and gentlemen. Ronnie and Jacob will join you on Friday night. Absolutely, and uh, looking forward to it. Well done to you, Joe B. Fantastic year. And... uh now enjoy your, your break and time away with the family. We will see what we can do there. On behalf of Ronnie and Jacob, I'm JB. It's bye for now. We'll see you Friday.